What is going on, people? Welcome to Throw Down Your Questions, episode 296. I'm your host, Tony Polanco, and tonight I'm joined by Emilio Lopez. What's up, people? How's it going? Chris Seeley. Hey, what's up, everyone? Carlos Romero. Yo, yo, yo. Adam Vale. Stalker Free Sunday. And Brian Monjoma. Man, the pre-show is wild as always. <laughs> always, man. You already know. Um, and as always, Brett of the Wild will show up when he shows up, you know? Um, that's just how it is. Anyway, um, I, I'm going through some quick things here, and then we can start because uh, we have a lot of questions tonight, people. You know, um, again, we are on the road to 300, man. Episode 300 of both Throwdown and Throwdown Questions will air on September 3rd and September 6th, respectively. We're going to have some contests for both shows. We're going to have special guests who, you know, we actually were talking about them before. Uh, our boy Paris Lily It's going to be fun. And some other little surprises. Who knows? So stay tuned for that. I'll announce the Paris thing probably two weeks um before the main show, like 298, which is um two weeks from now, I believe. You know, good stuff. Um, Also, uh. If you guys don't know already, we are on Audio Boom, which means that we're on literally every podcast app on earth right now. We're everywhere, you know. So uh, whatever your preferred podcast platform is, search for Throwdown Show. We're going to be there and make sure to subscribe because all that stuff helps us out in the end, you know, which is always really cool. And again, I'm very happy with the move. Like I was afraid that we would take a little bit of a bigger hit, but we didn't, you know. Uh, our numbers actually maintaining and I'm pretty sure and this is after a week So I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna keep going up, which is always dope um, And again for you SoundCloud listeners subscribers We are going to not upload to SoundCloud anymore after episode 300 So please go to audio boom again. There's a million places you can subscribe to us Make sure you subscribe to us so you don't miss a single episode, you know, and the last thing a little bit of uh, pimping here because we're always again trying to do different things and stuff and one thing that we're doing specifically for youtube is a new show people it's called throwdown clips and you've already seen two episodes uh they're basically th the whole idea behind throwdown clips is we take little segments from the main show you know throw down and throw in your questions make them videos you know and you guys seem to be liking those and you know it'll help the, the channel grow and everything which is always a lot of fun so good stuff and carl is actually learning some fucking editing right now which is really cool you know yeah, man. First um, yeah. time I've ever done video editing, so good to learn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, as a matter of fact, those two videos are up. That's all Carlos right there, man. So, um, mm -hmm. thank you, sir. That was awesome. Thank you. you know, and the last thing, I'm not going to say nothing because I want you guys to see it. Uh, Thursday, watch the show. We have something cool to show you. Show you. Again, oh. watch Twitch when we go live. You guys are going to see something cool. You know? Are you, are you teasing them? Yep. Yeah, and unlike the Paris thing, I'm not saying nothing else. Like, you, again, you're gonna see something cool. That's it. Yo, you know? do we know? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm like, dude. Actually, I just realized something. No, Manny and I are the only one that know right what now. What the dirt? Uh, Yo, man. Yeah. I'm I'm keeping secrets. Keep it secrets. Keep it secret. I'll tell you guys after the show. You know, because um, it does. We do need your help with something. Um, all right. Before we start, just make sure you guys follow us on Twitch and Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're on YouTube right now and this is your first time watching, watch some of the show. If you like it. You know, if you like what you see, subscribe and then hit like. We're not. I, I always hate when people go smash the like button. Like, bro, I haven't even seen your shit yet. You know, yeah, that's, I, I put a damn go right, right there. Right yeah. From the yeah. So I'm asking you, if you're watching us on YouTube for the first time, check out some of the episode. At least like a good ten minutes. If you like it, subscribe. You know. Also join our Discord. You know, which is always a lot of fun. And you mm -hmm. can find, like I said before, you can find us on any podcast app by searching for Throwdown Show. That's two word Throwdown show and you can visit throwdownshow.com to listen to past episodes man and as always oh, no, you can't listen to past episodes you can literally find all yeah. of our all of, all all of, of the podcast platforms we're on yeah well That's yeah important. yeah throw down show well no you could do both actually you could find all our past episodes and the places that we're at you know you could do both on you know? throwdownshow.com yeah because it goes to audio boom you know ah but it doesn't audio boom doesn't have all the episodes yes it does no it doesn't yes it does <laughs> Why are you arguing with me? They're right there. Yo, man, it only has it up to two hundred and something. No, it has we it up to. Uh, up to uh, all it has all of them. <laughs> you know, if it has it up to one twenty six, it has all of them. So basically, okay, Manny, to make you happy, all the episodes that count, it has all of them. <laughs> you know. Um, so without further ado, you no blanket statements. <laughs> yeah, it's still true though, man. Listen to past episodes. Uh, I'm. Yeah. I just. I'm confirming this right now. 126. 126. That's, yeah, exactly. So, Manny, to keep you happy, you can listen to past episodes. There you go. 
<laughs> you know. All right, man. Let's up. Uh, let's get to it. First up, uh, to Meke and Z. And I'm, you know, he said I don't have to read this. I'm gonna read it because this is fucking dope. He goes, since you had trouble last time, my name is pronounced Tu Meke and Z for New Zealand. He goes, it's Mau, it's Maori, and it translates to too much, which is like if your mate did something awesome and you say something like, bro, you're too much or Tu Meke, you know. That's awesome. Mau- yeah, Shout out to awesome. Maori, you know. Tu Meke. Yeah, because he said, yeah, I don't have to read. I'm like, no, bro, Maori, that, that's badass motherfuckers right there, man. Got to give you props. Shout out to New Zealand, too, you know. Yeah, you mm-hmm. There you go. Fly to the Concord. Do us a, do us a hawker right now. Yeah. To make I like that name too, man. You hear to make it, man? It to sounds make it. badass, you know. It sounds like it sounds like to it comes make from it. like from like Latin America or something. It really no, does, man. you know. He got a tattoo on his face because that's a thing. They're yeah. allowed to do that with no issues. Yeah, no, that's dope, man. You you can still get a job even when you get a tattoo on your face. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're like, what? Black yeah. ball. Yeah, see the the Maori, they know how to do things right, bro. All right, let's get into the first question from Mr. Tumeke. I'm going to keep saying it like that, too. And you're lucky that Spanish is my first language, bro, so I know how to pronounce shit right, you know? You roll your hearts and say, like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because a, a, a native English speaker would be like, Tumeke, you know? Tumeke? Chim- <laughs> yeah. Um, Tumeke? It's Tumeke. It's muy bueno. Yo, Brooklyn Bear. Yo, Brooklyn Bear, shout out to you, brother. My mm-hmm. man, my man. You know. All right. Uh, first question here is: Now that we've seen the leaked robot white Xbox controller, that's what he's calling it, uh, with mention of Series S in the manual, what do you think the Series X will look like? Uh, will it be a smaller Xbox or something different? Could it be just the code for a digital only X? Uh, manual only seems to show pics of the X phone and laptop seems weird the manual won't show the s especially as it looks like a retail version okay so you guys don't know if you were on twitter earlier today um the the verge i believe they had a bunch of pictures of the new controller the but here's the interesting part it came with a manual right and it said new controller for the xbox x slash s so because remember we've been talking about this like hey lock hard or whatever you know series s it's not confirmed it's confirmed now it's real you know? So it said Series S? Yeah, it said X slash S, which means there's two of them. And know? that was the retail version of the, the packaging. Mm-hmm. It was a retail. Right? Yep. So and this is go. this is not a rumor. This is real. This is no, no, no. I, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, this I wasn't real. sure if that was just something that they were sent for a review. And those things can change at any point. Yeah. But if that's a retail box that they sent that's out. That's a retail box. Print, then, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much confirming. Now, it's not confirming when we're going to hear that announcement. No, no, it's not confirming. So, you know, the question is a little bit hypothetical. So what do you th- do you think the Series S will be smaller than the Xbox One X? Because Xbox One, I mean, excuse me, Series X is the f- refrigerator. My take, I think it's going to look exactly the same. It's just not going to have the disk drive. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, that's that's yeah. My, my guess, too. They're not going to make that much of a difference between them. No. No, that would that would mean that would mean that would be too mean, much. Yeah, that would be mean re-engineering the whole damn thing. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Because yeah. you got to remember, um, this is still part of the rumors. Chris, I'll let you go next. This is still part of the rumors, um, that apparently on the inside are basically the same for the most part. There's differences which Chris will outline a little bit, but it's basically the same shit inside. So there's no reason to make it smaller because you probably can't make it smaller. You know, and from what I understand, if it's like the PlayStation one, they just literally just stuck a graphics card in there. You know. Anyway, Chris, go on, man. Yeah, um, I was gonna say, um, it would it would also be more cost effective to keep them the same because you'd have to make uh, two molds and two fabs for two different size SKUs. So you just keep them the same. You just use the Series X um, mold, like keep the same body. Like you said, pull out the disc drive. I don't know if they'll have anything there. If it just be flush, like the PlayStation, just doesn't have that extra bump. With so it's just digital. And yeah, they'll just they keep it the same, uh, similar board, underclocked, everything else, and there you go. You know, and it's just sell it cheaper. Yeah, yeah, because some people are speculating, like, oh, is it going to be smaller? No, it's not going to be smaller. That would be too much, just like Chris mm-hmm. explained. You know. All right, that's a pretty easy question. So let's move on to the next one. This is from Mister Axel Wolf. Now, before we get to his question, he has a comment, which I this is my favorite comment of the night. He goes, first off, I want to thank you guys for moving to Spotify. Now I can delete that trash podcast app I've been using to listen to the show. <laughs> I want to know what this trash app was. There's a bunch of shitty ones. My, yeah. my guess is the Apple one. May- oh. Wait, can you even delete that if you're on iPhone? Yeah, you can delete the podcast app. 
Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, because they, Apple things you can't remove. Yeah. Oh, you can know, delete they, all they, that. They changed they, it. Remember the, the change stock market Apple. one and all that other stuff? You can delete Yeah, that. anything Apple put on there was like not. You yeah, couldn't back, in the back in the day. Oh, you now. can. Yeah, yeah you can oh, delete shit. it. Okay, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about the Apple podcast app because that is shitty. Okay. That's the one I use and I and I freaking hate it, man. Well, now you use Spotify, Carlos, you know. Yeah, fuck that app. It's <laughs> terrible. All right, so the first question from Mr. Axel Wolf is, do you guys think this recent state of play was Sony's way of telling Microsoft they aren't going first on price? This state of play felt like Sony was buying time and they know everyone's waiting for the PS5. I don't think it's confirmation of that. You know? No, I just think it's, a, it, I think it's, I mean, to be honest, even though they said there wasn't going to be any PlayStation 5 announcements, that didn't mean that that show didn't have PlayStation 5 games in it. Yeah, it, it did. did. It did, yeah. yeah. Um, was the main one um, that the one by um, the, um, the Abzu? The, no, no, not that one. The, the, oh, the, the, the Abzu people. There was the Abzu game. There's also the one that they showed at the end. Um, what was it? The, um, the Battle Royale game. Oh, Godfall! Godfall! Yeah, they, yeah. they did like a, a like a maybe a, a ten minute or, or, or yeah, that, that closed the yeah. show. Yeah, I, I think the, I think the reason they were able to get away with saying, "Oh, we don't have any new PlayStation Five games," because that was not a technically a new PlayStation Five game. We already knew yeah, about we that. Are. Well, it's funny because they just, they said they're not going to have any new PlayStation Five games, but they actually did have new PlayStation. Yeah, you're 5 right. Games. Yeah. Well, they I think they said triple A ones or something because you know that um the I forget the name of the the they one, said the, no major. Yeah, PS5. major. Yeah, yeah. Um, th- that archery game that again. Robin the Ab- yeah, yeah, Robin Hood. That's a, that's another one. You know. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't think it's indication that they're going to announce the price first. You know, I don't. No. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. That's speculation, I, yeah, sir. I don't, think, I don't think they ever have ever announced anything on one of those shows. No. Other than games, state of play has always been about you know showing off whatever games are coming up pretty soon. Yeah, pretty much. What's going on? Do the third? He goes throw down time, baby. That's it's fucking true. right. <laughs> Yo, yo. Yeah. At this point, I'd be surprised if they even know when the hell they're gonna. They don't know. Shit. They don't know. Kaz Harai knows somehow. He doesn't even work for Sony anymore. <laughs> All right, man. I mean, uh, they, yeah, what's up? the only way we would know, and the only way they would know internally, if they already have something set on a calendar for whenever they're sending to retailers. Yeah. We have to announce a price before you ship to retailers. That's right. Yeah. Remember what happened with the Sega Saturn? Right, they told they told retailers, "Oh yeah, we're gonna ship on this day." Then they flipped it. Retailers were fucking furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen again. No, no, chill. You know. All right, moving on to the next question. Uh, He, oh, we're gonna get technical now, people. Uh oh. Okay, I want to upgrade my PC in a few months, and I'm not sure how to start. I have a pre-built gaming PC that runs things okay. I know some of you play on good PCs, so where should I look? Where did you all start? All right. Um, most of us have a story here. Um, so, um, Brian, you go first. You're a resident PC gamer. I knew it was going to be me. You could have picked Carlos or Chris. Oh, or you know what? Forget you then. That's yeah. it. Carlos. Yeah. Carlos, you go first. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, I told you. I told you. Um, for me. me oh, okay. Um, By the way, I let Brian tell me what to do because he has that British accent. You know, if anybody else, it. If, it, if, yeah, if it was anybody else, yeah. like fuck you, it's my show. You don't tell me, what to do. <laughs> but this is but this is Brian. You know, I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm like oh, shit. Tony, Tony, I've decided to take over the show. You will allow me to do this. Yeah, I'm like, you? oh shit, it's, it's all yours, <laughs> man. Don't fuck me up. Off. You know, don't chop my head off with your Excalibur, bro. Anyway, Carlos, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Carlos. Um, I mean, I've been building PCs since <laughs> I was a kid. So I, I look at this motherfucker flexing right now, son. Yeah, yep. <laughs> since I was a kid, you know, you no know, well, bang. I mean, I've I've always had I've always had friends that were uh, like huge ass nerds. So it's like they always taught me how to do it, little stuff. So I never. So that's how I learned how to do it, like through other people. Um, eventually, you know, YouTube got big and stuff, and and that's that's. I mean, if you want to start anything. Pretty much, just go to YouTube. Like anything technical, even finance kind of Shit, stuff. A hell of a lot easier now. It's sort of like what you mentioned, how you had to find it from your friends and stuff. Because there was no YouTube, so you had to know All right. somebody. All right. Well, well Adam, we got to take it back because we've been building PCs yeah. since Carlos was in diapers. Yeah, so, uh, and then, 
And back then, you used to get remember Computer Shopper yeah. when it wasn't it wasn't a magazine. It used to be a big fucking like outlet flyer, like the Sears catalog, just for computers. And that's where you get your parts. You know, you'd be like, "Let me get a Sound Blaster Pro," and you go find whoever yeah, has the best price. Get about audio cards. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. When you when you couldn't even get like a single Free graphics card, you had to get you, uh, you guys don't even remember like 3D FX. You get the Voodoo mm -hmm. card, and it was a daughter yeah. board you had to put on your video card. Like video cards mm -hmm. used to come in two parts just to get 3D. Yeah, and, yeah. and then you buy a case from another vendor, and then like so online made it simpler, man, because you go on these TV sites before Newegg, like uh, Google Gear, and then Google sued them, so they changed it to like Zip Zoom Fly, and there was a bunch of other online guys you order parts from, but I used to go to Micro Center because when mm -hmm. I was in college, like it was over in Cambridge, I used to go over there and get parts, I buy my games over there and stuff, buy my boards. Chips and Bits for me in the lower Manhattan. Yep. It was a place called Chips and Bits, and they had all kinds of stuff. They're still around, I think. Pretty sure yeah. they are. And that's but, how you yeah. do that. but like Carlos said, it's like it's way easier. Is is you there's there's guys online talking about um just the type part, in, build my first gaming PC. You'll get like a shitload of videos that just show you step by yeah, step. Yeah, you you can even you can even put like the like the year like twenty in twenty twenty at a certain budget like five hundred bug uh, five hundred dollar yeah. uh, build PC for twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Only thing you have to worry about that that I'll tell you because I just actually. This year was the first time I helped my my nephew build a PC for the first time, and he. So I bought all the parts for him. Um, and first off, just a quick little side note: the parts, man, you those you're gonna have to work for because some prices are inflated, stock is low, especially during these times. Like normally, the stock has been low the last couple of years, but even more so today. Um, but yeah, like we built a, his PC for the first time, and. I was kind of surprised because, you know, I thought I was going to do all the heavy lifting, but then like he was, he was like, oh, so, so let me, let me put the thermal paste in on my, like, uh, how do you know how to do that? It's like, oh, I just watched a YouTube video. Yeah. At least he doesn't have to deal with, with jumpers. Remember that? When you had the oh, yeah. jumper, yeah, yeah. You, to go, you think you have everything right. It's like, no, you had to put this one. It's horizontal. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Are you kidding me? I had to open everything up to switch to jump. Oh, back then when you had to set voltages. Yeah. Oh, you know, my Lord. That. Yeah, no, that it, it's way easier now, and and you can go. There's plenty of sites that have, I mean, like uh, like uh, PC game or whatever. They'll do benchmarks, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're like, okay, if you have the budget, right, then you go look at benchmarks and you're like, all right, what's giving the best performance for X, Y, and Z and the best frames, and you just get that, you know. And and if you're more uh, budget minded, then like like Carlos said, go look up. The, the budget PC builds, and then go look, and then you can look at the benchmarks and see if you can squeeze, if you can squeeze a little more money out, like then get the next higher thing than what's recommended, and just look at the benchmarks. If you can't, you know, and you make compromises like how much RAM you put in, how fast is it, and if you can, if you step down, if you're going to get a Ryzen or an uh, Intel, like so, what clock so speeds, I, AMD seems a better price usually. Tony, but, the, the guy said he was going to upgrade his, right? That he wanted that he had decent one, but he's thinking also of upgrading his. Yeah, he wants to it? build a new one. Yeah, because he thinks because he, oh, he wants to build yeah. an all new one. Yeah, yeah, he all wants new. to build a new all one. Right. Yeah. Because I was just gonna say, if he just wants to see what he can do with what he has, look up the motherboard, see the the highest specs when it comes to the processor that it supports. Then look up on eBay or other outlets that we've mentioned to see what. The prices for that type of a chipset if you want to put something in there and then from there you can upgrade your your power supply depending if you, you already don't have a, a pretty strong power supply but it's always good to at least every four or five years swap it out if you want to keep that pc alive swap out the power supply get something new that could bring new life to your your current pc by the way make doing your first build for the first time can might seem like a daunting task but once you get over that Every, like when you get all those parts, like you're like, oh, I'm getting all my new egg is sending them. Amazon is sending these parts, and you just get them all together, man. It, it feels like, like I feel like I know how people feel when they have like those Lego sets. You yeah, know, well, like, the checklist. Like I would create a checklist, and then I would just start from there, and I would start checking things off. Because yeah, if you put all that shit on a table, it's like you start throwing up in a bucket. You're like, oh shit, this is too much. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Good luck. All right, Brian. It, it, it takes time. Enjoy it. If it's a project that you want to do, it's worth doing because then you feel a, a sense of accomplishment when it's up and running. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Brian. So, yeah, if looking to upgrade, um, again, as 
as I said, just go through and check for compatibility. The major thing you need to be careful about is the power supply. Like, you can't just be shoving like a GTX 2080 Ti and be like, oh, it's fine. My power supply is 100 watts. It's like, no, that's not going to fly. Um, yeah, just make sure that you have enough power to drive it and then make sure that you have enough space to fit it inside your case. Um, I made that mistake once. Um, <laughs> oh. My actual case right now. Because my graphics card is very odd in that there's a there's a certain part that's not that's not meant to have anything on there, so that it slots into everywhere. But there's there's, there's this weird like metal um, looks like like frame of some sort, and then it fucks up my case. So I had to go through like bend a slight bit of the case, like fit in like fit oh, in man. the card. So yeah, it wasn't that fun. But again, that's my mm. mistake. I didn't look that up. So yeah, um, yeah, make sure that. The card can fit inside the case. Um, usually, they tell you how long it is, how wide it is, how much space it is, and just make sure that your case has that, or else you're not gonna have make, fun. Yeah, make sure just get a big ass tower. Just say, be, yeah. be safe. Just get a big ass fucking tower. That's you know, what I have. I have. Yeah, I have the ATX. ATX for the full tower. There you go. Get a full tower. Never have to worry about that shit again. By the way, make I, sure another important thing, real quick. Just make sure that the CPU is compatible with the motherboard. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying with the specs. Look it up to see oh, what yeah. it supports. If, if, if it's Intel or AMD, because yep. they don't support the same boards. Nope. nope. And then, yeah, maybe there might be some files that'll do some tweaking or something like that. But you have to make sure you have that preloaded. Yeah. Um. Or you could do what I did. Uh. Basically, I had my friend Torrance Davis. We've had him on the show many, many times. He's a big PC guy, and I was like, "Hey, Torrance, I want to build a PC." what parts do I want? I told him what I needed. So he went to, was it PCPartPicker.com or whatever? So I went there and listed everything. And I took that list over to Micro Center. They built the shit for me. And this is the best fucking computer I've ever had, man. Four years and it's running like crazy. I could run any game butter, you know? So that's, if you want to do that, if you don't, you don't want to deal with all this, you know, tinkering shit, have somebody that you trust that you know is a, well, you know, it's a big, you know, or like listen to the guys here on Throwdown, right? Well, we could, 20, we, yeah, we could, we could help you. You got to give know. yourself more credit though. What's you up? did upgrade it. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, because here's the thing. I kind of messed up with the graphics card. I actually because I was like, oh, I just need it for video editing. But then when I started playing, I'm like, mm, I can't run every game at max. So I bought my because I had a seven, a 970 GTX, I believe. Right. So I upgraded a, t a 1080. Yeah, just a regular 80. It took me about four hours to fucking install this shit. It was f difficult as hell, but I did it, <laughs> you know, um, so you could do that. But yeah. <laughs> And then yeah. I inherited the old one. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could do that. Just have a friend or listen to these guys on Throwdown, uh, PC Part Picker. If you have a micro center, they're excellent. The guys will walk you through it. You know, if there's any compatibility issues, they'll let you know. It's like, oh, this shit won't work with that. You may want this instead. Blah, blah, blah. Ran through it. Again, it's customer service micro center. I cannot say enough about it. They're they're fantastic. You know, and, you know, the inside of my PC was Brian approved. I, sh I showed it to Brian. He's like, oh, damn, look at those wire flay. Look at the way those wires are. <laughs> you know? Do you know? Tony, do they ship the Micro Center? Do they ship um, they, I don't know if they did, but... I think the guy's not around that area. No, yeah, we went to, yeah, Manny we went brought it for me. Back. Yeah, because uh, my Micro Center no, is right don't. down... The, yeah, they, it was right down the block, you know? Yeah, I, no, 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 I know nothing. I thought you were recommending for this guy. The no, guy no, is no like I to, said to if you have a Micro Center. I believe they do oh, ship, yeah. though. I believe they do ship, you know? Micro, micro Center is the shit, but I did it all face-to-face. Yeah. -face. Like, I went to the guy, I said, yo, this is what I need. And he was like, oh, you may want to get this instead, blah, blah, blah. Mad fucking helpful, you know? Mm-hmm. Because I don't, I don't have, I just don't have patience to put all this shit together, you know. Um, for, for me, for me, I've never actually built my own PC. Um, for the most part, I've, I've either talked to Chris or talked to, to 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 Adam about stuff. Like, you know, I've only just done like minor minor upgrades to my own PC. Like when I first got a really good job, because uh, I had like a damn, what did I have? I had gotten a, a computer for, you know, I had to replace one of my own, my, my computer from the 90s. It was like, a, the, I bought it in 1997. I replaced it. And then years later, I, you know, I replaced it again. But uh, when I got a good job in the, in the, early, in the early 2000s, I was like, hey, uh, Chris, build me a monster. <laughs> and, <that's it. laughs> and that thing lasted me for years. I think it died in 2012. Or it just didn't wasn't running so good in 2012. But, kind of yeah. funny you mentioned that because that that's kind of my story. Like basically, as soon as I got a good job with money, I was like, I just went to Micro Center. The guy even asked me, "What's your budget?" I'm like, "There is no budget. Go ham. Everything on on that list, you know." Mm -hmm. 
It's a good feeling, man. It's a good feeling, you know, because you want, again, if we, my, it, this is just my take on it. If you're going to be playing PC games, you want them to be fucking maxed all the time, you know? So I'm like, I want to put money into this shit. And I'm going to probably upgrade my, either I'm either going to upgrade or completely just redo a whole PC in about two years or so, you know? Um, just so I don't have to, like, you're like, oh, I have to set the settings. I'm like, no, 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 if I'm playing a PC, I want it all fucking maxed all the time, you know? That's the whole point of why I want to do it. Um, all right. Um, good. Thank you for asking that question. That was good. Um, da, da, da. We you know throw it out. My world was here to help. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. Never hurts to help. Man, you know. And right remember, now, I'm just, yeah, I'm, remember eat the cat. Yeah, I remember eat the cat. I wonder if some oh, of our shit. audience remembers that shit. You know. <laughs> what is that? Where is this eat the cat? You Sounds eat? like a boar. You shit. You know. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for vamping there. Uh, next question, Mister Mob hits. Man, I wish Brett was here, boy. Actually, oh, excuse me, excuse me. No, no, I, I skipped ahead. I skipped ahead. Maybe we'll just look at Brett, Brett time, you know? Because um, this question, if Brett was here, man, mm-mm-mm. we would get into another throwdown fight, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, we would throw down again. We would throw down again. And you guys, people, you know, you guys like that shit when we start, you know, fighting with each other. That's the name of the show, you know? All right. So, again, I was just vamping right there. Get the question ready. So, this one is from. Tarja, my good buddy Tarja from Twitter. So her question is, should games focus that much on graphics or should developers rather create deeper and more resonating stories? Does one aspect go before the other graphics gameplay story? What is the one that really, really, really matters? Hmm. I think, it, I think it depends on everybody. I think everybody is a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Adam. I, for me, it'd be a story, but then, like you said, it, it does vary because it depends on the type of platform, type of game you're looking at. If it's a side scroller or something, it's like, ah, it's going to be pretty simple. So, what's going to lure me to, to continue playing? It's a story. Yeah. That's what you see with Celeste, right? So, it's, it's yeah, it's a puzzle stuff, but it's the story everyone keeps talking about. They're praising the story. So, and, and, or even like a point and click adventure when uh, Telltale's was doing The Walking Dead, it wasn't so much of a point and click because, like, yeah, we got a bunch of those. It was the storytelling that drew everybody in. So for me, I would go with the story. Hmm. Uh, it's, I mean, there's one dimension that I prefer for both. And that's the gameplay. Yeah, it's interesting she didn't ask about gameplay, but... But if it's yeah. between those two, um, I think... <laughs> actually, <laughs> I think it would go graphics. Ooh. Because I think most game stories are shit. Yeah. To be honest. I mean, they're just generic stories like uncharted uncharted is just a generic story yeah it's um indiana jones it's video game. Exactly. it has to be entertaining or else you'll be like this is so generic i don't want to keep playing i don't give a shit i don't care what happens but you care because you're like all right i want to see what happens with this story like mario no one cares about the story uh um, i do we see him die zelda no one cares about the story oh. uh, you know there's there there are some that are you know you know senua's sacrifice is you know is a good one um there's, there are there are some good stories, Metal Gear, but uh, I think for the most part, for me, because I mean, like like Adam said, there's it's a case by case basis. But if if I'm just gonna go through the majority of games that I play, I think I, I might go for graphics. I'm gonna give the asshole answer. Why can't we have both? <laughs> you know, especially with next gen. Like, I need to see some graphics, boy. I need some graphics. Well, you, you pointed out. So the, the was it PlayStation or whoever announced that some of these games are still going to have that option of like boost and performance yeah. or boost mm-hmm. for, that's whack. Like you said, we should this gen should have that covered. That yeah. should not be an option. Both should be fucking checked off. Yeah. So that's my answer. I, w- I want good stories. I want good graphics. You know. So yeah, I'm being an asshole, but I'm picking both. All right, uh, Manny. Yeah, I would say the same thing. But um, if the if the graphics are not fully up to par and the story's okay, I, I would probably I wouldn't judge it too harshly. Yeah, you know? you know what? That's a good point because like if the game is graphically, you know, if it looks like an Unreal game, right? Like the Unreal Five game, but the story's whack, I probably wouldn't be as forgiving, or I'd be more forgiving for the game that doesn't look as good but has the better story. So yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. But again, I want the gra- nice graphics, man. <laughs> um, Chris. Uh, I weigh more heavily on the on the story side. 
Because, like, I mean, we grew up with, like, fucking 8-bit graphics, man. <laughs> you know? You sp- what about you, Chris? You were playing that fucking Atari I, shit. Oh, well, yeah, whatever Atari was, this predates that yeah, shit. Yeah, we seen it two, the two bits, yeah. you know? <laughs> the story was the cover. Um, the store was the, the cover. Yes, yes. It was, like, a Drew Struzan painted cover. I'm like, that's all I need to know. Y- Yars Revenge? This shit looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and then your imagination takes over while the Atari is blaring at you. Yeah, that's you know? Because that- that triangle, that's a spaceship. Because <laughs> yeah, that means that we're that group now. We're the old people who's like, in my day, we had the no color. And we had, and that's the same shit. We didn't know what kind of character we were playing. We just assumed it's a good guy and let's go. It's the you guy know, in the cover. I just, that's it. Yeah, I just realized something. there's a direct correlation between game covers and graphics, right? Like, those Atari covers look fucking amazing, right? They were lies. But they were the, but lies. The, but the, <laughs> but the graphics, lies. but yeah, but the graphics were whack, right? Nowadays, games look awesome, but the fucking covers look like shit, you know? So it's, it's pretty funny how that works. What, what's what's a modern day cover, right? It's a dude with a gun in the, in, that's in the center of the box. That's the modern cover. Remember that? Or, remember when or, Doom came out? Doom, Doom, the first Doom 2016? That you put the logo of any game on it and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. I, I, I remember because if, if, you're bringing up the covers and the big change that I saw was when Call of Duty used to oh, do dude. just the, the, the colorful RT, it looked like a game cover. You know, you see like a digital guy, yeah, the whole thing. And then when they replaced it with using a, a real soldier, I'm like, yo, this shit's about to get real. They're showing a real person, so a real, real soldier running and stuff and, and shooting and holding a gun. I'm like, that. That takes it to a whole other level. It's basically if you're a parent walking into a game store, you see that you're like, my kid is not That's for real people. You're showing a real guy holding a real gun on this box cover. <laughs> Yo, by the way, real quick, Barry Burton says, uh, in a world where graphics don't matter, one soldier must write a better story. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. All right, um, Brian. Yeah, I go with story as well because given the two... I'd rather a game. I'd rather I'd have a game that doesn't look all that great and have a great story than one that looks really good and the story is just meh. Because if the, because if the story is bad, then you just can't get into it and you just don't want to play it again. It's like oh, it's like I wasted 20 hours of my life on this game that story is kind of like shit. Whereas if the graphics are bad, it's like yeah, it didn't look that great, but man, the story was fantastic. I mean, right. take take out throw down game of the year. A couple of years back, um, Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. None of us here had any quarrels with the graphics because we all love the game. Well, you know, that's actually a bad example. Okay, ignore that. <laughs> 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 because we all enjoy the gameplay, so hence it's like, oh, my point is mute. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I think the story just carries the game, in my opinion. So if the story is great, then... We all have great fun. Yeah. No, you right. know what? I think I think I'm gonna switch my answer to really that because hey, here's my per example, right? Blood Omen Two, right? That game was fucking horrible. That's the first game I played with that had horrendous glitches, right? It's on PS2, right? The graphics sucked. The gameplay sucked. It trashed, but I went through it because the story was fucking amazing. You know. So yeah, you're right. The story. Will, and actually, I'm gonna get controversial right now, people. Oh, oh what you saying? What you saying? The first Mass Effect. The first oh, Mass Effect oh, is one of one of the worst games I've played, mechanically speaking. Right, the, the well, you know, like you know, the the game kept glitching out and shit. The, the the graphics were even though they were they were good sometimes when they rendered correctly. The inventory was fucking bullshit. It was just a bad game. But that story and characters were so fucking good. I I couldn't stop playing. You know, that story yeah, was fucking that, amazing. You know, the issue with that one was just performance. The graphics, because the, the graphics looked fine when they were working. When they were working, it, yeah. Yeah, but it's just a performance. But Brian, I have a question for you. Oh, and it's not—it's—it's it's an actual question because I've never played this game. But mm-hmm. does Warframe have a story that's enticing? It has, yeah, it has ideas in there. Um, it's it's a bit messed up since they kind of did like a weird like recenter of the game that kind of makes some things like weirdly irrelevant. So yeah, it does have a story, but with that, it's more about the gameplay. It's like Destiny. Yeah, it has a story. It's there, yes. but no one really cares that much about the story. Yeah, because I, I see myself like playing a lot of games, like Heroes of the Storm and chess. That <laughs> that, that and Mario. Yeah, that has a really good story, man. You know, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like all of these games that I play for hours upon hours upon hours. They have no story whatsoever. 
Um, but I still love playing them. So it's like, but I understand your your guys' point. Like when you're playing a shitty shitty looking game, that's just you just want to see what happens. Like at the end, that's also that's also a case. But I, for me, that's just that's just sort of not the most common scenario. For yeah. By the way, shout out to Brett who showed up. Nah, I can never sneak past you. Nah, because the thing tells me. You know, it's like dings. Boom. Yeah, dings. Oh. And Brett, thank you for joining us because um, the next question, I, I want to hear your response because I think we're about to have another throwdown, man. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I am ready. Sorry I'm late, guys. Uh, work. It happens, happens. man. Don't, don't even worry about it, man. Oh, Make that the money. Make yeah. that money. You could just say, reading, huh? Just give me a good actually, birthday present. Nah. Okay. I, was oh, actually, nah. I, was, I was actually doing some charity work today. Oh, nice. Very good. Very good. I tattooed you know? uh, nipples uh, on mastectomy patients nice mm -hmm. hey man listen leave the world better than you than you came into it you know that's good i'm, I'm trying that's you that's you yeah all right also before we go on to the next question um i want to give it because tarja is from finland so shout out to finland oh nice, nice. you know finland. very Fucking cool finland. yeah man uh, me, me manny and chris i don't know about adam adam you know children of bodum yeah i'd love we'd love those guys man shout out to finland you know or as alexi says fucking finland you fucking know <laughs> i love it man shout out to finland man i love i love the international oh by the way brett well uh, one of the 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 questions that we got was from a guy his name is to make it that's um that's maori for too much which is a good expression there so shout out to new zealand for that fuck yeah that's awesome i love that shit man god new zealand is so beautiful <laughs> all right man let's move on oh man here we go bob hits what is the most overrated game of this generation? Oh, <laughs> holy, shit. Shit. holy shit. Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, that a oh, damn. Explain oh, yourself, sir. It's already started. It's already no, no, no. started. No, no, Explain yourself, sir. It's, I just, I don't. I guess it's just, I'm going to steal a line from, it's just me. It's just me <laughs> with this shit. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not all into the samurai thing, and I've never really got into that. I like more combat styles and fighting and fist fighting, all that shit. So when I see everyone was like going gaga over this, and, and that time period also doesn't and grab me it's like i didn't see it and people are like oh it's like uh red dead you like red dead? It's like, but that's cowboys and stuff this isn't cowboys this is different. yeah exactly you got guns and stuff so when everyone talks about how this is the the second coming this is the best game of the generation all this stuff it's like I, I just don't see it i have no interest in it you know, it's a pretty game I'm not, I'm not shitting on the game it looks beautiful but it doesn't look fun so <laughs> all right you, you, broke, you broke your own rule though i had one of the adam no-nos and you still played it and thought you were going to enjoy it. It's like playing Horizon Zero Dawn and thought you were going to enjoy it because they had dinosaurs. Man, fucking dinosaurs. Well, you I don't, don't think like you, dinosaurs. Yeah. You don't like samurais. How, how do you feel yeah. about pirates? I love pirates. Remember, Black Flag, that was my oh, favorite. Except, out of all except for Sea of Thieves. Oh. No, Sea of Thieves, yeah. come on now. Never a pirate. Mighty nerd, man. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right, um, Manny, what, what's the most overrated game of this generation? Overrated game um, that I played, right? Uh, oh, that's tricky. That's a tricky because Adam didn't play Ghost of Tsushima because I can't like because like I could say I you could know say what it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that you played. It doesn't have to be what I played. Uh, what you played? Because that's the thing. I'm not saying that Ghost is a bad game. I'm sure it's a good game. It looks great. I just don't believe the hype when it says it's the, the comments game. right now. I, I know, but Adam, for that's the whole something. for the whole generation, that is that's, the whole, that's what they're saying. They're saying that this is the best. I'm sure it's one of the best. Don't tell me it's the best. Don't tell me we had to go through what five, six years of a generation to get to a fucking samurai game. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I can see it maybe this year, but like we're talking like Order 1856 shit. <laughs> or in 1856. <laughs> Damn, my man went to the you ultra know, prequel. I, I would say one, one, one is probably <laughs> Zelda. I probably think that one is a uh, it's overrated. Which one? Zelda. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, you know what? I'm just gonna say, man. <laughs> that's my that's my answer to Breath of the Wild is the most overrated game of this generation by far. I don't, you know, I, I mean, as much as I like the Zelda games, and I see what this Zelda game is doing. I feel like people put a little bit too much onto what it is doing when it is doing a lot of what is already being done has been already done in the, in, in the industry. So it's like, hey, look, it's Nintendo doing what everybody else does. Hmm. 
Yeah, my my thing is my my thing is what killed that game for me is the motherfucking weapon fragility, man. I would I would actively the, stay yeah, yeah. I would actively stay away from battles so I don't ruin my swords, which yeah. is sad because there are things in the game I like. I loved every like a shrine to puzzles, fucking amazing, right? Um, but I also will admit, I played this game after Horizon Zero Dawn, right? And it's like, yo, this shit don't even look as good, doesn't play as good. This is not it. And a lot of the time, like, the, the lands were just empty. There's nothing there. You know, I can understand that's cool for some people exploring. But I'm like, by the time I hit 60 hours, it's just like, I'm done. I don't want to play this anymore. I'm just going to go to fucking Ganon. Because apparently you could just go to him at any time you want. I'm like, I'm going to Ganon. Fuck this shit. I'm done. You know? Um, so I, let, me, I also, also, let, me, let me also let me also add that Horizon Zero Dawn, I believe, is overrated. Oh, oh that's Brett's oh, answer. Oh, <laughs> that that is my answer. Oh, wow. we, oh, excuse me. Both of those games, I feel like yeah. it ain't it, Chief. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, uh, Carlos, man. Well, don't mean to cherry pick, but <laughs> it, for me, it's Breath of the Wild, man. I mean, I. I played 15 to 20 hours of the game, and I'm like, that's enough. Because it's, it's like, I agree. The weapon fragility, I remember starting the game, and I'm like, okay, I'm fighting. And then and then I'm like, I, I picked up this, this this cool little sword. It died within a freaking three <sighs> slices. I picked up this stick. It died within, like, two slices. And I'm like, okay, so now I'm going to have to worry about this stuff. Okay, and then I'm going, uh, going up the mountain. I'm freezing to death. I need to. Oh my I god! A, yeah. I'm like, is this a survival game or is this a Zelda game? So I'm like, ah, oh, this doesn't this this doesn't seem like Zelda to me. And did you guys get the Master Sword? I did. I, I didn't. I sort of. Yeah, got but the it's ma- still, yeah, it still it still wears out. It, still it, wears it only out. recharges. It heals, right? But yeah, you can still break it. Yeah, uh, and this is DLC, and I, I'll, I'll kind of give you on that. The DLC, the the one they came out with, where you can do the Master Sword trials, makes it pretty much a consistently usable weapon. It mm. can break if you are just uh, completely an asshole with it and only use it and just whack everything. But, but, that's, it, but that's what everyone wants to do. It, it's like, it's like if you are, if you are like Batman and it's like, well, you don't have batarangs, you don't have a grappling hook. It's like, what the fuck? I, it's, a part of that is the gadgets. So I just have my fists. Like I can't do the cool shit like smoke bombs. Nah, the, you, you're, you're Link, you have to have the sword. Conan has a fucking sword. You know. <laughs> and doesn't break either. That's what you want to do. You want to chop motherfuckers and then and then bang women. That's it. That's what Conan does. And yeah. He needs a sword, too. Yeah, my thing uh, is like, yo, no wonder you guys lost again and all your swords kept breaking, you know? You know, I, I, I totally understand your guys' point, but at the same time, I, I had fun with it to a certain extent. Not the fact that the weapons were fragile or that they broke, but kind of the side effect of by having side of uh, breakable weapons, there are just weapons all over the place. I can't tell you how many battles I fought by throwing six weapons onto the playing field, just running and hurling shit at people, and picking some up and whacking them with it, and then rolling back and hurling more people. Uh, hurling yeah, more people. but Brett, for me, I mean, at least for me, when we're all talking about just our own experiences, like I, I like I like sticking to a weapon sometimes. And I'm like this is my mm-hmm. this is my yeah. no, I, like, I, I can get that. I totally get that. And, and, and I'm not trying to defend the weapon fragility system. It's not something I like. I'm just saying the only p- part of it that I enjoyed is, it, you know, it would be great if your master sword were in there and it's one other shit broke, but still maybe more slowly. But yeah, I liked I liked having six swords on me. Are you rolling that field where like the, the three swords are sticking out? And you just fucking pick them up and hurl them. You pull them you to you with magnetism and you just huck them. It created at least an, a really interesting combat experience, but I'm not sure if the way I played the combat is the way you were supposed to. So I found a way to. Think, you made it work for you, you know? It's like, I have a fucking steel pipe. Why is this shit breaking over these mushy fucking zombie heads? See, Dying the Light to me. like Dead, Dead Rising, yeah, right? Dying, Dying yeah. Light, that weapon fragility was a little bit more lenient than fucking Zelda was, you know? Like, if you, you could, could, you could actually repair make, shit. Yeah, you could yeah. repair it. Oh, my, yo, if, if Zelda had repairing. I would probably like the game a lot more, you know? Yeah, double, yeah, double the durability and give you the ability to repair. Yeah, I'd be yeah. fine with it. Because, again, there's aspects of the game I really like, but I'm like, I can't deal with this weapon fucking fragility, you know? It was, I think, I think honestly, if they didn't add that as a mechanic, it would be a more well-received game. It's already uh, well, well-received. It's already well-received, yeah. Yeah, that's why it's overrated. You can have the mechanic, you just have to, you just have to do it right. Like, look, um... 
like Dark Souls has weapon fragility also. Yeah, like, but right, you know that fine, you can break yeah. weapons, but you go to the blacksmith, he fixes it. That's it. That's you don't it. lose your shit. It's same like, thing. Oh, yeah. Same same thing with um same thing with uh Bloodborne. It has weapon fragility as well. Yeah, you it's go like, to the dream, fix the shit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's all you need. You or know, if you're if you're not completely uh, like an asshole with your weapon again, like if you're not hitting walls every three seconds. I never had to repair my weapon. No, wait, wait till Demon Souls comes out, Brett. You're gonna see some shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, because that shit, because people have stuff in the, there's stuff in the game specifically to break your weapons and armor. There's a yeah, straight yeah, spear. There's acid. There's all sorts of shit that'll break your stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because each time the games have gotten more friendlier and easier to play. Like I'll be honest, it, the Dark Souls get progressively easier. Actually. Going back to Demon Souls, it's gonna be oh my god, it's gonna be so painful. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I looked forward to this pain. Ah. <laughs> All right, uh, before I get to the rest of the panel, is I want to read some of the comments here. Right, Mighty Nerd says Breath of the Wild. Uh, he goes, yeah, I said it come at me. Uh, Consumable <laughs> Pete says Destiny Two. Brooklyn Bear says Dishonored Two. And he yeah, also he also he also says that he hated Breath of the Wild and returned that shit two hours after he played it. Damn. Oh yeah. shit! Damn, that's some hate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right. Do it at the fucking guy. Take way, your I shot. Want, I want to give I want to give an honorable mention to Destiny One. Oh. I still don't understand how people played on. Yeah, hours yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, people yeah. are hooked on that shit. Yeah, but Destiny One, I would say, was overrated too. Yeah, I, I, I as a guy who probably who sank a lot of. Hours into that, I will 100% agree with that shit. I'm going to say everybody fell for the rope of dope on that shit. Well, everybody you know, I, I, fell on that rope of dope. Much from, because of Bungie and the whole Microsoft thing, I knew a lot of people that were just that lived on Halo that did jump to Destiny. And I think they saw that as their Halo fix. That was that next level of I, Halo. That's the thing about Destiny. That, the controls are fucking fantastic, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's not that's not that's not the rope of dope. That's the, the rope of dope yeah. is, is is the system on how they keep you playing. Yeah, the the um, carry on a stick shit, you know. Um, yeah. All right, uh, Brett, I re I think I already know what your answer is going to be. Um, but let's see if I'm right or wrong. What's your most overrated game of the generation, Mister Murdoch? He's probably talking right now. He's <laughs> muted. I want to hear what uh, what you have to say because I think I have I think I have the dark horse in this race. Really? I think you're going to say Red Dead Redemption too. Nope. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm oh, actually. Oh, I'm surprised. This is going to be good because I actually don't know right now. My you top. My, my top oh. two are are. Oh, I know. You know which one it is. Oh, we know. We know. Do it, Brett. Do it, Brett. Tell him. Say Tell him. Huh? Wait. What? Death Stranding. Yep. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> here's oh, the thing. Shit. Here's the thing about Death Stranding. I could understand why people would say that. <laughs> you yeah, know. I can say I I could totally understand that. It was hyped up like it was the second coming of Jesus. The second coming of Kojima. But remember, yeah. remember, I at the time I said I said this game is not going to be for everyone. I said this in, even from the beginning. It's yeah. Gonna yeah. Be totally Honestly, wacky. I have not heard anybody who like who has really really enjoyed the game. Yeah, me and Manny, we, we really enjoyed it. I, Brooklyn Bear and, enjoyed and Chris Seal, yeah, we all enjoyed it, but we all understand it's not for everybody, you know. No, but it's not a game. It, that's it is concentrated everybody. Hideo Kojima, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I no, we. People, I, I hear people that enjoyed it. It's like, it. like, it's like drinking, anybody it, that loved it. Do, do it's you like, guys like finally? Do, do you fucking just love that game? Or I can't. It, I can't say I love. No, it. I'm not gonna say I love it, but I really enjoyed it. That, that was actually my favorite game of last year. My my game of the year. That's my game of the year. So that's how much I enjoyed it. You know. Okay. Okay. That's that's pretty big. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's it's it was so hyped up. Like it was just, and there was so much tease going on. Like we were teased for fucking years about this thing. Was the baby in the bottle? And blah 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 blah. One of these things. That, it just it. I don't think it even maybe could have lived up to the hype, but it it definitely didn't. Yeah, shout out to the throw around crickets, by the way. Yeah, oh no, it was not going to live up to the hype. The hype was ridiculous, no. you know. The, the thing, the thing about it is, it had so much writing on it, and I think I, I, I at least saw this from the beginning. It's, it wasn't going to live up to to the expectations of everybody. You're the, you're either going to like it, or you're not going to like it. And yeah. that seems didn't to he that even Hideo Kojima make, make a joke about that? Somebody asked him like, "What would you have done differently?" It's like I would have made a game that would actually sold. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> you know. Um, what's going on? Uh, who is that? A Aaron. Um, can't read this right now. Um, Aaron Bradshaw. Uh, what's going on, brother? Thank oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, uh, Brian. Most overrated game of the generation. 
Uh, I've been thinking about it, and um, firstly, I want to add the whole Breath of the Wild thing. I honestly don't get why people think it's overrated. Like, it's it's a genuine fun game. It's a lovely breath of fresh air. Modern, no one disagrees on. Fun. No pun intended. Yeah. No, no, I, think, I think Brian, no one disagrees, but but it's gonna be it's gonna be a, it's gonna make a lot of people's lists of game of the generation. Oh, of course, yeah. And but see, I don't understand either. Like, I I I'm with Brian. I, I I'm not gonna try I, to speak. For I I have played it like for quite a bit. Managed to do two of the things, two of the I don't know what the hell they're called. Two of the statue thing with Jigs. Um, I did two. Oh, Guardians. Guardians, yeah. I did two of those, and yeah, I again, I really enjoyed it. Like, I liked how it wasn't just like trying to like prod me and say, okay, I must do this, I must do that, I must do this. It's kind of like, hey, here's the thing. Go do whatever you want. You want to kill the boss? Go kill the boss. You want to explore? Go and go and explore. You want to like run around, see what, what's behind that rock? Go and see behind what's that rock. You know? Oh, and God forbid you can climb that rock. Exactly. It's. It's a nice game where it's like you can literally go go wherever you want. Like, hey, you want to climb up this tree? Like, there's nothing up here, or is there? It's like, I don't know. Like, should I? Should I not? And then just find something. Again, it's the joy of exploring and finding stuff. Like, I thought that was just van fantastic. It's it it's not like um, Assassin's Creed or any other game. Where it's like, hey, here's a map. Here's a bunch of waypoints. Go. Look at things like, oh, this area has a question mark. I wonder what's here. It's like I don't really care because you told me that something's there, so it ruins the fun, you know. I like discovering stuff, like going around the corner and saying, ah, this is what's here, or this is what's there, or suddenly just turning around a a bend and saying, oh, I managed to go back to where I was, or oh, this is the other side of this tower, you know. Like it's the discovery. Like I, like I managed to find that one trial that was that was on top of like the, the bottomless pit, purely because I was I was just dicking around, you know. It's like it's the wonder of discovery and the weapon fragility. I get it to some extent. I just wish it wasn't as bad. I understand why they do it. It's like they try and get you to like use more weapons and try stuff out, which is. Again, it's a good idea that they want you to do that, but I think they just break way too fast for my liking. It's just the point where I was like, okay, I'll have like two or three swords or two or three weapons that I'll use for like the main battles and those I, I, I just throw away and I don't care. And then I'll, I'll have like two or three weapons where like these are like, I kill shit with this. With this, so hence I'll leave them there just in case there's like a guardian just come around the corner or something, you know. So that's how I played. Yeah. Um, no, I, I agree. With, I agree with Brian. It's a, it's a nice game. Yeah. By the way, uh, Brooklyn Bear says that Brian just described Death Stranding. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. He says to him because I, I I talked to him. He says for him it, the joy of exploring is why he loved Death Stranding so much. Yeah, if that's the case, then that's the case. You know. Again. Yeah. But I, yeah, I. The, re the reason why I think it's overrated, though, like, I agree, it's a good game, but people, like, it has a 97 on Metacritic. It's like, mm -hmm. that's, that's... Uh, that doesn't really mean anything, though. Let's just be real. Well, that, that, adds, that adds to the hype. That adds to the hype. It, it, does, it definitely does. See, here's yeah. the thing. You guys are a very specific type of gamer that hates curiosity and exploring and having fun on you your guys. own. What what is hate, 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 hate is a strong word. The, no, literally everybody hate. on this podcast yeah. needs to have the game tell them the story because they can't make up their own. Really? Other than really? Right, we're getting to the part we oh. thought we were going to get to. Oh. Let's do this. Real oh. Now, baby. Oh, you got yeah, names, tell, man. Tell me, the, tell me the last open world game that you played without an objective. Tell me the last time you made your own fun in a game. Tell me the last time you did something... Because not because there was a trophy, not because the game would even recognize it, not because there was even the story, but just because it was fun, like throwing a shot at an NPC. Speak out Wildlands first, when you uh, can turn everything. Be off. a thief. You guys all bailed on me oh. after like a week. Yeah, Carlos, no, that's, not, that's a bad example, bro. Well, oh, I, by the way, I, I'm, just, I'm just I'm going to skip right to it. That's exactly why I didn't like this game. I want fucking question marks on my map. I don't want to go on YouTube and find those secrets. I want this shit right there so I could go find it myself. I don't have time for that shit. That exploring stuff, that was, that was nice 20 years ago when I had more patience for it. I don't want to deal with that shit more. Tell me, tell me where all the cool shit is, and I'll go to it myself, and I'll find out what's there You know, when I get there. That, I don't want to deal with that bullshit. That is fine. That yeah. is fine. I'm not talking shit when I say that none of you guys like that, but... I, none of you guys like going and making your own fun in I a agree. game. None of you guys 
enjoy a blank slate in which you have to. Well, you know, if you want to go, if you, if you want to go make your own fun, then go pl play outside. Dude, what, what do you think sandbox games are? No, I mean you're, you're going to pay like twenty, Daddy. you're going to pay or sixty bucks to go uh, to go put, to go make your own fun. Go play out fucking side. Make a go. Uh, I can't. Make, I can't go make, go a, down. make a fucking sand castle. Dude, I can't build a real castle outside. I can't club make down enemies castle. and fight tigers. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> go, go, make, go, make, go make a sand castle. Go jump on <laughs> yeah, the swing. Go. You know it's that's where you can make your own fun. <laughs> No, I mean, sandbox honest, games. If you're going to be, you're gonna be if you're going to be playing, your, if you're going to be playing, Manny. you're going to be paying money for this shit. Come on, man! You act like you, you act like the idea of being transported to a different world where you could like imagination itself isn't important. Like, oh, imagination. Why, 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 okay, so imagination, and imagination with a game, imagination with a game. A game that supposedly has then why put fucking put graphics? Let's just put the text adventure on the screen. Dude, oh, you're arguing against Dungeons and Dragons right now. You realize that, right? Man, like we got drug wars. Yo, yeah. Brett, I just told you earlier we were playing Atari games where you had to pretend that the fucking box art was what exactly. you were looking at on the fucking <laughs> TV, man. And that's like the that took a lot of imagination. I'm like, yeah. yo, this painting is that that square that's, over there. That's the square yeah. over there. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Uh, like you guys. You guys, you you can do it. You have done it, but like you don't need to do it if you're paying yeah. sixty bucks for a game. No, yeah, come yeah. on, man. Tell it's me like, where the fun it's is. Like, it's man. like going to a movie and expecting to move and imagining your own fucking movie. That doesn't no. make a goddamn like a sense. Cut no. the bitch. Cut the bitch. I don't make <laughs> you're discounting the idea that you can suspend rules of reality, change. Like I can't go to space, Manny. I can't. Playing a survival game where I'm trying to, or a living you space. You didn't take enough acid. Listen, you can go to space. You can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, uh, like, 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 like Ark. I loved Ark. Uh, is there a point to Ark? Fucking no. And it's, it's, it's turned out to be a garbage game, but I had fun in it because it, it was a, a island with dinosaurs. Go nuts. Like, okay, so we built a base and then we get started gathering resources and we started warring with other tribes. And it organically built its own story. I have so many stories I can tell from that game. From the time that the fucking T Rex just busted its face into our cabin, we were only three people big, to the way that we, you know, ultimately went down, taking down an entire server with us. Like it, it was a, it was an awesome game, and it made for awesome stories. But none of these stories were pre-written. It's it's just different show for different people, right? Like look at look, your joy goes to Tsushima now. That's a narrative based on historical stuff. All I had to do was see Tony jank some dude in like three seconds in a duel. He fucking cut a bitch. And I was like, yep, I'm there. Yep, <laughs> I the want to do that. And the game doesn't start with any question marks. You have to clear the fog of war. And a question mark only pops up if you ride past something that you missed. So the game isn't telling you everywhere to go and what to do. There's still a good amount of exploring. I spend so much time just riding up the roads, killing Mongol convoys and rescuing people. And that's how yeah. I get, you know, the, 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 the wow. Wow. But here, and here's the, but here's the, thing. Yeah. the the beauty of Ghost of Tsushima, right? There's shit in the world that tells you where to go. The bird, the fox, like the, things tell you where to go. And I appreciate that. I don't want to just be left to my own devices. Tell me where to fucking go, please. I don't have yeah, patience. We're, you know, we're not arguing the validity. Both yeah. games have their place. I was just making a statement that. Oh, I agree with your statement, bro. Yeah. Like a narrative led game. They yeah. don't see the value. In the sandbox, I do see the value. Why. It's just not for me, you know. Okay. Um, I see the value. I see. I told. I completely see the value. You know, if you're more an imaginative gamer and shit, like yeah, I, I totally see the value. Well, I just don't want to deal with that gamer. shit. You know, it, it, I used to, Brett. I used to do it. I used to, I used to make my own fun in GTA San Andreas. I used to make all my fucking games. I, I did that already. I'm done with that. I get, tell me what then, to do. You know. Okay, but Tony, see, but that's that's fine. But like the real sandbox games, they, you don't have to make your own fun. It's it's a very clear line of progression, man. Like you want to advance your technology, you want to build your base, you want to keep yourselves away from the wild animals, you want to arm yourselves with rare materials so that you can get to the harder parts of the island or wherever you're at to get rare materials to build up so that you can be uh, stronger than the tribe next to you. And that's going to create issues when you put twelve people on an island that's big enough for five people. There's going to be a uh, fucking story. That's literally how like uh, fucking reality shows get all their drama. Drama happens. Stories happen. And it, it, I think a lot of people don't recognize that as like, oh, I had this happen in the game. But I, that's just me. I just imagined it. No, you didn't imagine it. Everything happened in the game. There was there was no imagining to arc. 
None whatsoever. I didn't have to imagine anything. I had to it's, fight it's off dinosaurs. The, it's, the, it's the idea that you're a sandcastle, regardless of the situation, is always going to get kicked over. What? So you mean it? it, it, it you're, you build your you build your sandcastle, right? And yeah. what happens? There's a, either going to be some dick hole who's going to come over and stomp on it. The water is going to come and blow. The water is going to come and, and erode wash it. Wash it away. Oh, wash it away. That is why I love it, Manny. Because in every other game, you have this terrible power creep that's based on some magical fucking armor that you then get and you learn all these special techniques from just running. Like you learn how to throw knives from riding a horse long enough, which makes no. And everybody guy. wants a sim. Shit, people just want to go and fuck shit up. No, that's but that's it. the thing. There are two ways that you can you can make a game, and I've had this conversation with many people. You can have it where you have an inevitable power creep, which is why every single fucking sequel, the idea is, oh no, the main protagonist lost all their tools and or skills. Like, that, you have to take it away. There is no way in anything, in any situation, thematic, organic, no matter any way, that you're not going to see a power creep. And the other option is to have that. And a lot of, to have to have that taken away, and a lot of the video games use that for you. That's when you wake up, you're like, "Oh, I'm not as powerful as I am in the last game." That power creep needs to be cut short at some point, and I don't mind if it's because another player blew up half my castle. Cool, I'm a rebuild up, rebuild my castle, and now I'm at war with this motherfucker. Like that's that's the story. I don't mind being set back because being set back is the only other option to the eventual Dragon Ball Z power creep, I'm going to sneeze and blow up the planet kind of thing. Yeah. Like, how fucking powerful is Master Chief at this point? Like, he's, he's well, pretty... He, much he, doesn't he, he doesn't change. He just has a fucking change. gun that throws some grenades. Yeah, he doesn't change. He doesn't have drones or anything. It's, it's just the same old dude, just Robocop in space. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um. Go ahead. Last thing, Brandon. We actually still need to hear Brian's uh most overrated oh, game. I didn't, I didn't... Oh, Chris, you didn't go either? Oh, shit. All right, so um, Brian first and then Chris. I'm pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty much done. I was just yeah. saying that, like, you just because, uh, like, you guys don't understand why Breath of the Wild got a 97. No, I do understand. Oh, I, I do understand. Why. I understand. No, I understand. I totally thing, understand. But I, but, you know, at least for me, I feel like it's overrated. I yeah, don't think I agree. I, I think, I think um, yes, it's, it's a good enough game. It's, it does what it does. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people uh, give it a little bit too much, more than I think it really deserves. Yeah. All right. Especially um, since it's a yeah. Wii U game. Okay. Uh, Brian. Oh, Bri yeah, Brian, most overrated game. Mm, I'm trying to think. Uh, if you need time, I'll go to Chris and come back to you. Uh, like, okay. I had a look at the games, and it's like, most of them I kind of half and half agree with. It's like, okay, it, I, can, I can see why they get there. I think the only game that I really just cannot get to is God of War. Oh, the fans oh. are going to be happy with that. Like, the fans, oh, well, whatever, the fans. Like, hey, so the, hey, we're talking about the throwdown fans, not, the, not those other... Three yeah. platinums, okay? Like, I'm a fan. Um, I don't know, I just, I just <laughs> don't... Again, I am, I am literally just comparing the new one, God of War, to God of War, and, and I'm, I can see why the God of War games were rated the way they were. Okay, they had the niche... It was fine, but this one, it just, I I feel like the the things they added doesn't really add to the game. Again, the story is fine. Like, I have no quarrels with the story at all. Like, oh gosh, how do I, yeah, the story is fine. You know, it's good. It's a good idea. Um, I watched a GDC talk where um, Cory Barlog was talking about what he plans to do with it. And it's like, okay, it makes sense now why they did it this way. They are going down the way that I thought they would have gone in the first place, which obviously I can't say, but you guys can kind of get if you have played it. It's just some of the gameplay changes I just don't feel worked, and I just don't think it deserves as much as it did, because I feel like some some of the gameplay changes they made actually makes the game worse. And some of the gameplay changes actually clash, clash with the vision of the game as well, which, which again, is the reason why games should not be rated highly because if you if your narrative messes with your gameplay and vice versa then are you really a good game you know but you think it's a good game you just don't think it should be highly acclaimed as it is i think yeah i think it's a good game like to me that's a that is my definition of a what a good game is it's 
like really good solid stuff lots of potential good ideas in there in some places just some parts don't seem to work quite well and it's kind of like why is this here this kind of makes no sense you know yeah all right and plus yeah, i can't yeah. say last of us 2 because hmm. people hate hate on that so yeah I knew that Carlos would wait for me to say that, so yeah. No, because you um, haven't played it. No, that was nah, that, that was just too obvious an answer. That's why. Yeah, it's a no, given. No, it's not. It's Last got, of Us too. Yeah. It got, it got shitted on by everyone. Yeah, I don't know if I would call no, that as overhyped. Not everybody, because there's still motherfuckers out there who say it's the greatest game of all time. You know, it's like yeah, there's only four of them, but they that's, don't. That's, that's probably half the people. Yeah, it's literally a good every, game. literally it's every good. time, every time I've I've praised Ghost of Tsushima, there's always at least two assholes. Oh, what about The Last of Us? You know, I was like, oh, I got shit to say about The Last of Us. Yeah, but we don't need oh, we don't need to oh, go oh, down that oh. route. All right, uh, Chris, um, bring bring us home, man. What's your most overrated game of this generation? Uh, not so controversial, I don't think. But I just say Fortnite. Oh man, I think yeah, so. that's oh, obvious. That's, that's obvious. You know, I I, I, I wanted think... to say that, but I you know it's too yeah. Too yeah just think it's ADD garbage. <laughs> that's all it is uh, it's ADD yeah. garbage it's, it's the Pringles of video games and it gets mm, hyped shit once you start you can't stop yeah. nah oh no Pringles are not Pringles are decent nah they're not Pringles Chris they gotta be they're, they're they the gotta be Doritos oh. man oh <laughs> okay it's Doritos <laughs> Jeff, Keighley appro- Jeff Keighley approved uh, Doritos <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> alright that's a good way to end in that segment alright let's move on man next up we have uh, it's still mob hits. His question is: uh, Do you guys think that the Rona has put the esports scene out for good? What impact does that have on game developers? Um, I don't think e- esports has been that negatively affected, has it? By the Rona, I don't think so. I mean, Evo was was canceled or something. But yeah, I mean, the, the, evil had another the, issue, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the Rona, man. Yeah, they, no, they had not. nothing to do with the Rona, you know. I don't think I don't think the gaming industry, when it comes to these uh, esports events, they they're going to keep going as long as companies are willing to pump money into it with advertising. The shit's going to keep living, and people yeah. still play these games. That shows that it still has a life. When people stop playing, then there's an issue. But everyone's still playing all these multiplayer games, these MMOs and stuff like that. So. They'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna say, if it did take fine. a hit, it'll rebound when things get back to normal. You know. Yeah, I feel like the, you know, like when you when you have we're talking about like like gaming event, like gaming, like pro gaming events. Uh, I don't think it's like the actual sports, you know, like sports where people actually need to be in a room to compete. Yeah. No. no. You've no, seen right. that with Twitch. People just love tuning yeah. in to watch. They just want to yeah. see these yeah. high e-sports, level players. Yeah, e-sports out. are not going anywhere. So it, they're just there's just a way of life now. It's just another sport. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, that's an easy uh, one to answer. So we'll move on to the next one. I think I think the so, only big thing it's going to affect is the, the you know the places that made crazy ass arenas devoted yeah. to esports. And, you know, we're talking about places like in Korea. Yeah, we got some. But here. again, but again, Manny, it's it's a, it's a it's a it's a temporary thing. You know, for yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's move on to the next question, which is from Annihilator eighty three. All right, first question. Yeah, um, how old should a game be to get a remaster? He goes, for me, it's nothing less than ten years. Mm, very interesting. Mm-hmm. Ten years? Because we, we've get seen a games we've next seen, year, depending yeah, on when it comes yeah, out. Yeah, we've seen games get a year, you know, a year later. You know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, Last of Us kind of got a remaster the next year, right? Yeah. Black yeah. Flag. Yeah. Less than Black a year. Flag. Yeah. Black Black flag did, yeah. Within yeah. under a year, it came out, and then for the PS4 and Xbox One. No, what are you talking about? They came out on all systems at the same time, 2013, bro. You sure? Because I'm pretty oh, sure. Yeah, I finished right. it right. on the, the 360. Right. No, he's right. And then he when it came out. out. No, no, Adam, I play, I play Black Flag on my PS4 when the PS4 came out. That's the first platform yeah, no, I got. I'm, but I, I played it on the, the Xbox 360. Okay, because that version then, was available. Then, but yeah, then, it exactly, came out for everything then, at the same time. But it came out for it was a better remaster. looking. Adam, it came out for sure? everything. 100% sure. Know. Adam, you have yeah, six guys it, telling you this, man. Yeah. No, I'm just it, I'm not doubting it. I'm just questioning it. That's it, just, it, was <laughs> it was just like Phantom Pain, you know? It came out on, on both at the yeah. same time. I don't remember. I just remember being And of course it, it looked better, and better on PS4. And... When it came out on the other one, I'm like, oh, I'll play it again. No, 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 no. It came out on everything at the same time. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it was Last of Us that they remastered. Wow, that yeah, over, that's the one. Early. Yeah. Um, damn, Killer Instinct. Reggie he says fifteen years. Damn. 
Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say there there isn't a time limit. You know, if it's appropriate, yeah. sure. If they have the money, because uh, that was uh, the the zombie game, the uh, State of Decay, when that came out on PC, and then when Microsoft bought them, they did that remastered edition because they had all the money to put the better graphics in and put better work on it and better tech to make the game yeah. look a lot better. Because it was rough on PC, but a lot of people just like the gameplay elements. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, when I'm thinking about the question, I'm like, so, you know, my favorite, like a lot of my favorite games of all time came out last gen. And I'm thinking, so Mass Effect 2 came out, what, 10 years ago? Uh, yeah, yeah, 10 Fallout, years ago. Fallout 3 came out 12 years ago. So it's like, do those do those re- deserve a remastered by now? And <laughs> Mass Effect is getting one. They not, they no, 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 they haven't, no, they haven't, no, they haven't. They have not. Yeah, man, you, 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 you breaking news, Manny? Yeah, Manny's breaking news right now. <laughs> you know? I got. Thought, I kind of sworn. Mm-mm, that's just rumors. It's just dudes yeah. running rampant rumors. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. rumors. Grain of salt, then. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I stumped that out shit quick because the motherfuckers are like, "Oh, throw down said this," you know. Mm-hmm. Throw down said Tony Polanco. Said. You know, yeah, of course it'll be me who gets blamed it'll for this. You. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh man. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna go down the line. Um. So I said it doesn't matter, uh, Manny. What about you? A- any time limit? No, nah, there's no there's no time limit. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like some uh, I feel like sometimes they just you know some of these games just seem like they just come out right away, the, like the remastered edition versions of them. So yeah, I don't. I think it. Just, I think like you said, it depends on the kind of time frame when they're gonna do it. But some things you just seriously want to see come back. Yeah, it's like come on, guys. You've yeah, been there's... on this shit for years. There's some games that like look way ahead of its time and don't deserve like don't really require a remaster it and there's games that come out day one that you think shit halo infinite might need a remaster as soon as it goes <laughs> 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 get that get that yeah. remaster edition yeah all right adam what, what was your answer did you give one well with how, the, how long should it be game? until a game uh, until any game well, gets it, a no time women no no because it, it all depends let's say if it was a small studio and yeah. then it's just like what I said with State of Decay, and then Microsoft come and swoops in and say, hey, we could throw all this tech money behind it to make it look real pretty to make this spoof up. And say, yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. It's, it's pretty. So, it's so pretty. That's it. That's it. No time limit. No. I can understand some people getting pissed if they just bought the game, and then next you know, it's like, oh, there's a remaster that's coming out. Then they get kind of heated with it. But no, I think it's all right. Like, like God it. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carlos. Already answered. Oh, you did. All right, uh, Brian. Yeah, I I would agree. Around like five to ten years is like a, like a good period. Anything less than two years, it's kind of iffy. All right, uh, Brett. Mister Murdoch. I forgot what the actual question was. Uh, how long should it be until a game gets a remaster? How long should the wait be? Five years, ten years, no years. Um, I think it's more about generation because that's that's your power limit. I don't think a game should be re- remade or remastered uh, every generation. They can. It needs to skip a generation. All right. <laughs> so that, that's about five that, years. Tell that to Resident Evil Four. Oh God! <laughs> it, it gets two oh, remakes man. per generation. You know. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, or Skyrim. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah, write us another one, Chris. Go ahead, man. Yeah, I I agree. There's no minimum time, but I think there's a, a there's a max limit. You know, I think if you're <clears throat> gonna put gonna bring back something from like PS One, then you're remaking it. That's, Isn't remake. it? that's not remastered. Yeah, that's yeah. remake. So there's just like a max cap, but there's no minimum. Yeah, like they could be a year. <laughs> it's like yeah, remaster. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool, man. Let's move on to the next question. Also from. Mr. Annihilator, and the question is, with next-gen systems potentially costing $500, a high rate of unemployment, and a lack of launch games, would it be best to delay next-gen consoles for a year? The reason why I say this is because it looks like next-gen is struggling. Mm, we talked about this before, that it, it shouldn't have come out now. But As a matter of fact, I'm going to tie, tie this in with the next question from Mr. Eurocar, whoever that is. Um, are, are you guys going to uh, actually no that's a little bit um, out, he says he's going to keep asking us until uh, you know the new consoles come out um, but will you buy a new console at launch so it's all tied together 
Um, um, not these new consoles, no. Nah, no. They really. haven't. They haven't. I mean, granted, I haven't bought. I've bought. I haven't bought most consoles I've ever owned on day one. Yeah, and uh, what about the uh, delay? Do you think they should get delayed? I mean, uh, I think it. I think it should be delayed so that they at least have something to fucking showcase their goddamn console. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you know, make it look special. Yeah, make that shit. You know, you know, wow me. You know, like a, like a, like the, like a, you know, like just throw me. Come on, give, give me some. Can can I say something controversial? Oh what? yes. Is it gonna come out this year? They they're reluctant to say a date. No, they said holiday. They did say holiday. They, they I mean, I know. holiday, but yeah. By the way, I I actually I, I I'm on the opposite side of it. I don't think, well, at least according to the way the the the, the question was phrased, because yeah. uh, Annihilator was talking about was it Annihilator? Annihilator, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was talking about how um, like the Rona and stuff were kind of in a recession. Um, you know, all the production stuff issues, but they're they already said they're they were gonna release like what what the quantity was they're gonna release. Yeah. And they'll they'll have enough people to buy all of the consoles that will ship through through the end of the year to buy them anyways, recession or not. So I think even just 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 get it started, I guess. Yeah, I, but I also I mean I also agree with Manny like they, they haven't shown anything. The, for me, I mean obviously the Unreal tech demo, but it's a tech demo. The only other thing that I saw that's like gameplay that I'm like oh shit that looks freaking crazy is Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, I, I can't think of another game. Uh, who knows that, when the hell that's coming? You know. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. My mine's is kind of the same. I'm gonna say no. Don't. Even though I have said many times that the consoles don't really have anything compelling. No, don't delay it. Put them out there because a lot of people do want these systems and stuff. You know. So put them out there right now. You know the games will come eventually. Um. And as I said, I'm still on the fence whether I'm gonna get one day one or not. Uh. But if one of them, you know. Let's just be real here. The PlayStation, uh, if PlayStation has one that's four hundred dollars, I'm there. You know, five hundred dollars, mm, we'll have to see. Well, I mean, to be honest, like, well, then again, you, you do work at PC Mac now, but I mean, I think the thing about it is that you probably still need to own one of those consoles. Oh no, here's the thing. By the way, I'm talking about launch. I'm talking about launch. I will okay. obviously get a PlayStation Five. That's not even a question. You know, um, it's just a question of whether I get one at launch, especially if I could still play all those games on my yeah. PlayStation 4. If there's nothing know? that stands out. Yeah. If launch, the only game is Spider-Man, I don't no. know, man. Come you on. Know? That's kind of I don't know yeah, about that's that. Funny. And that's what it looks like. It looks like that might be the only one. I think it is. Go ahead, mm. Brett. I think so, too. As somebody who's dubious about the consoles, probably going to get them day one. Somebody who's enthusiastic about the consoles, like you, probably going to hold off for a minute. I just find that super ironic isn't that isn't that interesting you know um well, wait, wait, you're gonna get it day one i mean why not i'm gonna get it eventually <laughs> Actually, wait, which brett, one? brett brett no no to brett tell him what you told me the other day which ones are you getting i'm pre-ordering both oh wow damn bread of the wild Bread of the wild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? I know I'm going to eventually own both consoles. I don't expect a redesign in the first two years. And if a pro system comes, Red out, Ring of Death, Red Ring of Death, prepare. I, I again, I'll I'll have both. Um, my my idea is this: and as as a tattoo artist, my my finances are a bit different than just about anybody else, but like say servers. Um, yeah, I was about to say Brooklyn Bears say like, "Yo, are you drug dealing right now?" <laughs> no, and when you got the money, you got the money. When you don't get the money, you don't get the money. Like, dude, the Rona booked me out for like a month and a half. Everybody wanted fucking tattoos. So like it's about like you get the money, you kind of squirreled away for something, or you buy something because if you're just having cash laying around, like it doesn't work like a check. You can't depend on your money yet. Instead, like you do without until you get the money and then you buy the things. So I figure between now and then I can save up for you know a grand. Um, it just means I'm gonna have to work a few late nights, but yeah, I, I'm gonna get them both. Why wait? All right, and I'm guessing you you don't think they should get delayed, right? No, I think they should have a fucking console damn near every five years. It's not like it. I mean, we're slowing down now, but like, uh, 
graphics cards just constantly keep getting better. Processors just constantly keep getting better. This thing will be outdated in less than five years. It's too late for a delay. If they were going to do a delay, they should have done a delay before they showed off everything. They said, you know what? Due to the current situation, we're just going to push this back to like March of next year. Yeah, but I, I see. I can see somebody doing a delay, and I can also see that being the thing that changes the tide of the console war. So, I don't fucking know. Like, I've seen it happen. If one person delays their system and another doesn't, dude, you will see a lot of people jump on the, the first system that comes out. That's how 360 got most of its traction. What the fuck was that? All right, um, Adam. The, the first part is, do you think they should get delayed, and then will you get one on launch? Um, It's too late for the delay. That's why I just mentioned. It's too yeah, late. They're already all in. It's too late. Um, first one, again, I just want to be wowed. I don't want to get the box just for saying I got it because, oh, like you said, it's like, oh, I'm going to get it anyway. Of course I'm going to get it, but why get it now? I need something that I can plug in and play and be like, shit, this is awesome. I'm having a good time. I don't want to just get it and then have it sit there for four or five months until the game that I do want to play, whatever that is, shows up on it. I'll get it then because maybe they'll have a special bundle, special edition. You know, that's what I did when I got the Xbox One S. I didn't jump on that. I was like, eh, whatever. And then when I saw the battlefield with the green, I'm a sucker for green and grays and stuff. I'm like, oh, shit. All right, poof. And then I got that. So it's it's got to be something that pulls me in. And right now, just that Miles, that's not enough. And on Xbox and Halo, definitely not enough. So they have to show me something else. Show me something to get me in on day one. Right now, nothing has me for day one. Yep. All right. Um, Carlos. Either that you buy them, either that you buy them, and then you just literally play all the games that are previous are available on the previous generation. You know those rollover titles. <laughs> yeah, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I I don't think they should be delayed. Um, I agree with Brett and Adam and everyone else. I think Manny. I, did, I said they. I said they should. They uh, should have been delayed. Yeah, except Manny. Um, I'm gonna get a PlayStation Five guaranteed day one. Um, Xbox, I'm I'm leaning towards a no right now. Um, we'll see what they'll do between now and the day of release, if they have any special announcements. So, uh, I mean, uh, you know, we, we were talking to Danny when the Xbox conference uh, came out, and he was he was pretty optimistic that they they still have a lot left in the tank before they actually release the console in terms yeah. of announcements and games. So we'll see what happens between now and then, and but. As of right now, I'm leaning towards no for Xbox and leaning towards yes for PlayStation. And it's not even because PlayStation wowed me or because I think PlayStation has way more things than than Xbox. It's just, you know, the track record. It's, you know, I know I know a lot of the games that are going to come out are going to be actual exclusives, at least for a certain period of time um, for, the, for, for that console. So if I want to play... Miles Morales Day One. I have to get a PlayStation if I want to play uh, Rise of the Girl Dawn Two or God of War De Dead of War Two. Then I have to get that console. So that's the reason why I'm getting it. And for Microsoft, I have a I have a really good PC so I can play all of those games right now. So I if Dead of War Two is announced as a launch game, that would pull me in. That would pull me in to get the a PS Five Day One. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's there's games that you know have a track record where you know they'll be really quality titles, especially if if if, if that game of that amount of um, heft, I don't know, what it, like comes out day one, you know it's gonna be it's gonna utilize the system pretty well as compared to some other titles. Yeah. All right, Chris. Uh, no, don't delay it. Uh, you need the systems in the market and. Everything has been set up for launch. So, like Adam said, it's, it's too late. From a, a business and manufacturing, everything is <laughs> too far gone at this point to pull it back. But they shouldn't delay it because, uh, not because of, like, financial considerations on the part of consumers and who can, like, affordability, but because you want it and you need it in the market to prove it to not only us, but third-party developers and investors, right? You need that. You need it out there. And you need to figure out how it's working, what you need to change, what you need to fix, what your future plans are. So, and you're only gonna, you're not gonna do that in a lab. You're not gonna do that with a dev kit. You're not gonna do that in in inside 
your R and D. You're only going to do that when you have the product out there and you see how it's performing. You see where its weaknesses are. You see how the network's performing. You need everything to be out in the open. And in, uh, in ter- the se- the second one, uh, that I I will get a PS five day one only because I I literally have my PS four chained to my entertainment center so it doesn't take off hmm. to orbit. <laughs> you know, I think it's loud as fuck. Damn, man. But that's, that's that's my fear. They've always been loud. Even my other one. My PS3 was loud. I think the PS2 was the only one that was quiet. It didn't have all those issues. Yo, PS3 I have and... subtitles on PS3, Ghost of yeah. Tsushima. I can't hear them fucking talk. Yes. The fan is going to hear shit. shit. Just, I was just playing The Last of Us 2 with my brother, and the shit was going to take off. I'm like, what the? This is bullshit. It's a walking simulator. What is wrong with my PS4 <laughs> Pro? This is bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. My, my it's funny. My PlayStation doesn't make that much noise. You know, mine didn't make any noise during Ghost of Tsushima. It was all right. Yeah, yeah. Mine, Ghost of Tsushima is weirdly quiet. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay oh, with that. Not mine. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, nice that's mine. The last yeah. of Us Two almost killed my shit. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't have a. Maybe I don't play my console that much, and it's still somewhat new. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't oh, last know. Of, yeah, Last of Us Two didn't give me too much time, but Death Stranding, oh man, that thing was about to take off to Mars. You know? That yeah, I didn't have crazy. that much. I didn't have that much noise in Death Stranding either. Interesting. All right. Um, but, uh, thank, yeah. Thank also, but, but also, I just so I do have an, uh, a a solid state um, external drive that I'm running a lot of the games off of. So. Maybe that's a, maybe yeah. that's why. Oh man, yo, game. God of War was the worst. Holy shit! I thought yeah, my PlayStation was about to blow bad. up. You know, right at the beginning too, when it's just loading. Yeah, it's just it's loading. Like it's like, on the screen yet. Yeah, like I'm trying to forge shit. It's like, what game? What game was it that the menus made the the the, the Metal the Gear? Menu? It was Metal Gear. It was Metal, Metal Gear? Gear, Gear Solid Five. Oh, Metal Gear. Yeah. Yeah, that right. that game made the the fan, for some reason popping the menu up on your screen caused the the fan to start up. It's crazy. Damn. All right, um, Brian, should the consoles get delayed, and will you get one? Uh, Brad, you have something to say, Ben? I want to ask a question after Brian's. Oh, okay. okay um, cool. So, yeah, Brian, uh, should it get delayed, and will you be buying a console on day one? I already know the answer to that one, but go ahead. Uh, man, it may, may, may surprise you. you know. <gasps> Excuse me? Um, okay, should they get delayed? I think it's a bit too late for that at this point in time, because they've oh, already like, marketed it and i'm sure that they had like deals in place and manufacturing stuff is all put in place so yeah i don't think they can be delayed at this point not even that they should be i don't think they even can be because it's too it's too far gone yeah um yeah and in terms of the whole like recession thing like i just don't think they're gonna care that much because to them the idea is just get it out and they know that people will just buy it like they always be that hardcore group that just buys it, so hence they and just drive the people guys. waiting online to get one. That was the, the old school method, right? That's what happened during the PS3 and all that. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we're gonna get the guy that buys midnight it on launch and all that stuff. Yeah, is that yeah if the guy like gets it on launch date and, and then just smashes it up like at the line. Oh man! Oh, that guy come back again. He was oh, great. the guy with the fluffy jacket and the big ass uh, cowboy yeah. hat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, am I buying one day? Day one. Uh, see, this is a weird one um, because everyone's saying that if it's just going to oh. get, if it's just going to get the games that the PS4 has, then they're not going to. But I'm in the, I'm in the other camp. If all it has is PS4 games and they actually run better, then I will. Whoa! Because I was again. I've never changed my thoughts, which is mm-hmm. again. I was interested in the PS4 Pro like when they even announced it. It's like, oh, cool. It's like an option get to like have like my PS4 games run at a higher frame rate. Okay, that's very nice. Yes, they limited it to multiplayer, but then I don't play multiplayer on PlayStation because it's too much whack anyway. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know what? I get get, get like my, my single player games. They run better, run nicely. I I can do that. And then the PS4 Pro came out, and it pretty much didn't do that for like most games. So it's like, hmm, okay. And then the PS5 was like announced, and then it said, oh, backwards compatibility. It's like, oh, so I can run my PS4 games, but better. And so hence, I'm waiting for them to actually show the remaster engine, check out to hip hop, and actually see these PS4 games running better. And if that's the case, then yeah, I'll buy one day one. Again, I've been a PS Plus member for like four or five years now. So there's all those backlog of games that I just have not touched, because it's like, uh, it's... 
30 frames. I can't be dealing with 30 frames. So Dude, that's one of the exact reasons I'm thinking about getting the Xbox. I like, might not want to trade. It's a piece of garbage. I want to. I want to trade up. So yeah. So so if there's a chance that I can get get my PS4 games running better, then yeah, I will take that. And in case people are, are wondering, like, oh, why not I get the Xbox as well? It's like I have a PC, and I have Game Pass. So hence, yeah, there's no real point of that. If I didn't have a PC, then yeah, I'll just get the Xbox. But again, I don't have that backlog of games or that library of games on Xbox that I'm willing to play because I have Game Pass. So again, I'm already playing the games on Xbox, technically speaking. So yeah. All right, cool. All right, uh, next question. <clears throat> also from Mr. Hey, Eurocar. Hey. What's up, Brett? Oh, yeah, Brett, my bad, my bad. Go, what's your, what, what, what do you guys say? So, okay, we're talking about next gen and what we're going to get on day one. Like, and I don't, I realize they're not all day one, but like, what consoles are you guys going to get? Like, what games are, because like, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about, um, I'm sorry, that was my phone. I was, um, was that? Who the fuck? Oh, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm sitting here thinking, like, okay, the reason I want to buy two consoles is because, weirdly enough, I'm excited for some of the launch titles. Uh, um, PS5 is like Deathloop, Demon Souls, uh, and Project Athia, maybe, if it turns into a game. It's, it's, that was like a tech demo. So I, it's tough for me to get excited about that. Well, they're not, to, let me, well, well, actually, they're not <laughs> launch titles per se. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Not launch titles, but like just titles, like exclusives. Yeah, quote, quote unquote exclusives. I know that you can play across. I, I count uh, not Xbox, but the Microsoft platform and then the Sony platform. So Microsoft includes both PC. Um, so like, what games are like? Uh, I'm actually weirdly enough for the first time in a long time excited about some micro, like really excited about several Microsoft games. I want to play it Grounded. I know it's already out, but I want to play it fancied up because um, it's just a beta isn't it or is the whole game yeah it's out? a pre it's a preview at the moment it's it's a, it's a preview yeah so but it, it'll it'll kind of co coincide with the actual launch of the next system um and that'll help it run better so i'm i'm excited about that like i like those kinds of games exploring building obviously um i know i want to get set with sacrifice because the first one was the shit they announced fable which is dope and avowed uh is made by obsidian it's basically uh, obsidian's answer to skyrim and i want to play the shit out of that like i'm I'm hyped, genuinely hyped for several games. So I'm curious to ask you guys, like, what games influence or influencing your, your choice on console slash are you excited about, or is it no games? No games. Yeah, no, no games. games. Nope. So wait a minute. Why, as gamers then, are we always talking about show us games? We want to see games. If nobody... want to see games that hype us. I would yeah, see I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything. Hype me. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah, anything. It, 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 there wasn't anything across either console. That, not either one console. game. No, not well, one um, game across either oh, console. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sunny was Sacrifice Two for Xbox, but I'm not getting an Xbox. I'm going to play it on my PC. Yeah, you play it on your PC. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that's one for Xbox, and then for PlayStation. Again, I'm buying the PlayStation just because of the legacy, the 20 years I've had with PlayStation. I know I'm going to get another God of War. I'm going to probably get another Ghost of Tsushima. I'm going to get you know franchises that I've been playing ratchet and clank is coming you know yeah, um horizon horizon yeah um final fantasy 16 like there's gonna be shit on there i want to play you know so but some of those haven't been announced yet but again i know sony has delivered before they will deliver again so that's why i'm going there with xbox i don't really care for most of those franchises but i definitely want to play uh senua sacrifice too i know it's not senua sacrifice so I, I forget the name of the fucking game senua saga senua saga mm -hmm. um but yeah th so those are my games i guess um mr emilio's uh, I mean, for me, it's, I mean, Senua does interest me sl uh, mildly, but at the same thing, uh, at the same time, I didn't see anything. Yeah. So a really cool looking music video. That's what we saw. Yeah. This so is true. That, that, I mean, yeah, you no know, one's going to disagree with that. That's not my, like, you know, I'm not going to pick, pick up a, a, make the decision to pick up a console on a game that we don't know the, the, don't know the date for, and we haven't actually seen any sort of real gameplay for. So, and then on, on the on the other side, it's like um, for, there's really nothing that I've seen that that's sort of said that I need to play it. I mean, as much as I I, I respect the Ratchet and Clank game, uh, Ratchet and Clank games, I have never really played them. I've really never had any interest in them. Are you not excited about Deathloop, Manny? Nope, not at no. all. No. There, it didn't. It didn't. Again, it didn't. It did, wasn't anything there that that really 
interested me. It Wait, just which one was like, Deathloop? I don't even remember that, to be honest. Deathloop that was the one like where it was like with the brain. cell shades and it had its own art style and you oh, could jump around. one where you kept dying in a loop. Yeah, yeah, you die in a loop and you find a different pattern. Yeah, it's like Spy versus like, Spy. It's spy versus over my, I, I, I legit don't remember that. I don't remember that. It's like a, it's got like a grindhouse flair to by, it. Yeah, it's, it's one made by all kinds of right? It's, it's yeah, a, the just, guy. Just, Dishonored looking game with with the the like, oh the the time, oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't care about that. There were multiple time games which I noticed. And yeah, that. yeah, I don't care about that. But yeah, yeah I didn't. Yeah, no, nothing really really said anything that like really interest, was was really interesting me, and uh, I'm not seeing anything that this looks looks very impressive, and I'm not seeing anything that looks very. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and I mean, for me, I explained it like I I can enjoy my ps4 games on it now i want to kind of retire my ps4 and it has a good track record like tony said so i i know what i'm going to get so i'm like eh, i'm good i just i'll just get it day one excuse me hey all right um adam what games are exciting you there's nothing nothing at all <laughs> yeah. nothing. I, 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 that, that was the whole point when we were talking about oh getting this day one i was like it's, it's got to have something if they had god of war if that so, god so of even war a god of war would coming. not even a god of war would, no when, if they, that would be that's what I was no saying. we're, we're not talking about we're not talking about launch we're talking about overall now what do you mean what? Like okay. what Overall, game? What games announced. are you anticipating? Yeah, games. Oh, that you what announced. games? No, announced, not anticipated. It has to be announced. Oh, Brett, hold on! I just named a bunch of shit that wasn't announced. You didn't tell me anything. Yeah, yeah, but your your answer was basically none. You're buying on legacy, and that's yeah. an appropriate but I, answer. But I also said God of War. That shit hasn't been announced yet. You yeah, know? but that that counts under the column of legacy. Like yeah. you you know and trust. They haven't announced this game. You just trust that brand to come out with another game. Yeah, and it's going to be good. Yeah. So it's faith in the brand, not faith in, you know, not excited about ugly. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so Adam, nothing for you then. I still don't get that question because it, that could happen at any point for either console. Yeah, eventually they'll make another Gears. We know that. I don't know if that's in the next year or so. It's a more nuanced way of saying what's your system seller if there is any. My system seller if but there is But you guys don't any. believe in system sellers, so. Well, it's not skate anymore, so. I don't know. It ain't uh, table I tennis. Don't... It is See, I wish. And like, I like for it. me, it's Fable. Like, I gotta play the new Fable. Nah, I no. don't. Uh, well, just real quick on the Fable thing. I'm, I'm excited, like you, Brett, because I love the IP, but I have no clue how this new developer is gonna make this. I don't, I don't either. But I want to try it. I like it's, it's enough that I'm like, I want to try it. Not, not five hundred dollars worth of I want to try it. But you know, like it, it puts some weight in that column of like, man. I'll be interested to try it, even if it's you know, I, I, if it's half baked, I'll, I'll I'll decide if it's half baked. Maybe it's half baked in a way that I like. Maybe it's really different. But it's it's up in the air. I'm dubious too. But don't you aren't you curious? Oh, curious, of course. But I'm skeptical. Oh, I am too. But do you want to take other people's words for it, or do you want to try it? Um, it depends on if everyone's words is the same. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, because like like Brett like. If if you if Fable came out and you got it and you're just like this is the most amazing thing ever let me share my screen let me show you I'm gonna put videos up whatever and it's like oh shit that that looks really good yeah you you'd sell us on it and like oh, okay maybe I should get an Xbox I hardly turn on my Xbox One right now it just sits there it turns itself on because it's lonely yeah it might like, too yeah. <laughs> it might I've noticed too. that too yeah <laughs> Dude, I, but I firmly believe that Microsoft has not been trying for like the last two years they've been like you know what fuck it we just yeah. give up on this generation let's start recording notes for the next but one. but like he said if they got those exclusives if, if a vow is like this shit and whatever yeah then I I'll I'll, uh, I'll be on there like you know unless I, I I get a baller PC which I might I might do that oh, instead, shit. but but uh, yeah, if I if that's not in the cards when I have my PS4, okay, I'll get a Series X and dump my fucking Xbox One. <laughs> You'll paint a giant X on your computer and be like, "Here, there's my <laughs> Xbox." It's glowing. <laughs> or, and, it or... Actually, and it actually actually has the top part that glows, as opposed to just a green <laughs> put green lighting in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Did anybody else uh, not go? Oh, what was the question again? Uh, the question is, what? are there any games that get you excited about either console? So I'm guessing that this, this is limited to ex exclusives, right? Or... No. Any announced game? Well, I mean, yes, exclusives. Any announced exclusives? No. 
There <laughs> <laughs> it is. No. Yeah. Mm. All right. And Chris, you said legacy too, right? Like, you know, Sony. Yeah, that's it. it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, let us. I think move. it's funny. Nobody's right. excited for Spider Man. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody wait. else played Spider Man. We, we, did, we already did it. We got it. We played it. We beat it. Yo, we, we got happy. the platinum, we man. Exactly. Miles, We're done. Miles Morales. Yeah, who gives no, a no, shit? It's a DLC no, game, man. Right? Same fucking same thing. Shit. Same shit. Yeah. These are the ponies saying this shit. Exactly. You know, no one's yeah. going to hear that part, though. No one's going to hear that part. Oh, Sony, like, Sony, Sony, Sony tried really hard to be like, hey, here's here's a system. Say, here's a good reason to buy our system. And it oh, worked for right. like a week. No, no, no. I right, got right. stuff to say about that, but I'm going to save it for after this. Hey, you know, by the way, Brooklyn Bears very upset. He says he's excited for Miles Morales. Look, okay, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm gonna, hey, there you go, know, brother. There you, know, you go. You know, I'll, I'll agree with Brooklyn Bears. Well, I'm not that excited, but, you know, I'll I love play it. Spider-Man. You yeah, know? Spider-Man was fun. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the same enjoyment on this game. Get like the I platinum in that shit, too. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But we all know this shit, the same shit. They fucking got this thing so they could put it with a console. This isn't going to be the next step in Spider-Man. This yeah, is no. just, you know, we're getting we're getting what we did for Spider-Man PS uh, 2018. Uh, it's essentially a different skin, a little bit more levels, and that's it. That's what we're it's gonna. That's what we're going to get. That's why there's rumors that this is going to be packaged within the, the, the old game so they yeah. can justify the price. Yo, by the way, I find it funny. Nobody here, even the Halo guys, are not excited for Infinite. Yeah, yeah I'm all, I mean, like, like, like Spider-Man, I'm going to play it, but... Yeah, I'll probably know. play Infinite too, but, you know, I don't know. It's weird. It is, nobody's excited for any games. Oh, no, I was no, going to no, say, no. say for Chris, Chris, so you're not you're not excited for uh, Demon Souls or... Uh, He's uh, played that play? shit already, you know? Yes. Yeah, but see, I, I'm I'm set because I'm gonna get PS5. Like, I I don't I just have to wait for it to come to me. It's like I'm already the boat's already docked, right? It's just like, all right, just bring it here. Like, I don't have to worry about that. And yeah, and and here's another thing: it's a remake, so I already played it. I've already experienced that. I want to experience it again, sure. But you know, I wouldn't be excited as someone else who's never experienced Demon Souls, just especially call like right? man number one. What what? Hypothetical man number one. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Brett didn't experience it online. They cut it up before he he got to play it. Oh yeah, so, Brett's hypothetical man number one. Brian is number five. Tony's but, number two. But yeah, like I said, the legacy's there. So if I get it right, all I got to do is wait for them to to bring it out. Uh, just like Resident Evil Eight, I'm set. I'm set with all those games. So yeah. So right. Brett, yeah, that's yeah, that's his answer. Yeah, I, I think it's telling. That none of us are excited about these games. I think that's very, very telling. Mm. You know? All right, let's move on, man. Uh, next up. Oh, shit. The last question of the night. Who is this motherfucker, what? man? Some <laughs> piece of shit. Rom you death? Who is this motherfucker? I mean, you skip my question, man. Oh, yeah, I did. Sc- no, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna save that for the end, actually, Carlos. Oh, dude. I hate that guy. Yeah, you know? All right, but he's a very handsome looking fellow, though. So, I know, know. He, he, he handsome and charming. I will give you that. But yeah. you got to respect the albinos, man. Stay yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate. Don't hate. Yeah. Uh, okay, so second to last question. Okay, so his question is What is your take on Apple not allowing Project X Cloud on iOS? Da, da, da. Adam, well, Adam, go off. Because it, it's not that they're not allowing them. It's this whole thing with the in app purchases and transactions and how they want to cut. When it's not so much of uh, making a purchase within the game because you actually have a service. This is a known issue with a lot of other Apple applications that were on there that don't have all the features that you see on Android. We saw this with the Audible with Amazon. When they launched Audible on there, you used to be able to just you know purchase books and stuff from there. And they're like, no, we want to cut from that. So then now if you want a book, you then get redirected to the Audible's website through the browser. You can't do it through the app. So that's the issue that they were having. And it's that policy. It's dumb. And they won't bend on it. And here it is now. They bent with iOS 13. And it's like now we support the PS4 controller. We support the, the Xbox One controller. And it's like, this is great. We're getting that direction. I have some friends that were beta testing the the X Cloud on iOS. It was just a Halo game that was there. But they said everything was running smooth. And we just thought it was just a matter of time. Some agreement would be made. Or maybe some money would be slid in under the table. Or no, it's not happening. That really sucks. Not even for that, just for the experience of on an iPhone, whatever, but on a beautiful iPad. I have an iPad Pro. That would be awesome to fucking play that shit. And that's not going to happen. I think eventually it will happen. I think eventually some kind of deal will be made. 
whether it's just a demand for it and people are very vocal or not. I mean, at the same time, you got to understand Apple has uh, Apple Arcade. So even though it's not directly, but it sort of is directly competition. So you're agreeing with your competitor to put their service on and they, oh, yeah, they could play all these games and it's going to put our shit to shame because we just got damn phone games. So it's, it could be a bunch of things. But I also find it ironic that the one service that did get approved on and it has a direct competitor is with Google. And it's on an Android device and it's going to smash Stadia when it comes to Apple. <laughs> That's but right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you can play it on an Android device, a Google-owned company, so with no issues. So it, it sucks. But I feel it's one of those things that eventually over time it will get turned around just from the the bad press, if that becomes bad press. We don't know how the xCloud is going to take off in the, in the world, if people are going to really adapt it and love it and want more of it. If they do, then, yeah, then they're going to – people are going to get vocal. And then at some point somebody's going to say, all right, let's 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 make a deal. Let's do this. But, yeah, that, that sucks. That sucks. Yeah, just to I mean, pick, yeah, yeah. But just quickly, just to piggyback off of um, what Adam said. Yeah, I believe that this is going down just because of the fact that they have the Apple Arcade. They don't want any competition. And I didn't even think about that, Adam. You're right. Like, Xbox, probably Xbox is going to make those Apple games look like shit. You know, yeah, so they yeah, definitely don't want that. And all that yeah, no, like, no, 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 no. You on your phone? Oh, I got this uh, Angry yeah. Birds special. I got Angry like, Birds. Like, like, like the war yeah, multi. Bitch, I got Halo. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. Like, we're doing division and shit on here. Come on, yeah, yeah, come on. You can't, Destiny's like you got real games on Project Side. That's yeah, that bullshit. Really? You know, no, yeah. So that so that's my thing, but I it will say this: this is my my asshole answer. I don't care because I got Android, <laughs> so I'm good. I don't give a fuck. But I agree with you, Adam. I think they're gonna work a deal eventually. You know, they have to. This is too big. You know, this is too big. Well, yeah. I, and I just I just find it ironic how they 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 talked about you know the possibility of releasing X Cloud on uh, Nintendo Switch and PS4, and they're like, eh, they don't they they don't want us there anyways. It's yeah. like oh, I guess Apple doesn't want them either. Yeah. So by the way, like, yeah. By the way, a Brooklyn Bear. I met the good Halo because he's he's just, like that's something to, something to dra- brag about having Halo. Like the good Halo, the good Halo. You know, yeah, yeah. the Master Chief Collection. That the, the, the those games they were playing on those. Yeah. On the X Cloud. Yeah. So uh, this is definitely a big hit in my opinion for X Cloud and Microsoft and X and Xbox mm-hmm. um, because Apple has a pretty substantial. Uh, Especially uh, when it comes to tablets, the true. tablet market, they dominate. Yo, yo, they Carlos, dominate. yo, Carlos, you know where most of our throwdown listeners come from? Jersey? I- Apple. iOS? Apple, oh, yeah. Jersey. iOS. Well, I mean, what what are they with the phone market? They're over 85%, right? Shit. Or more than that. Yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. It's a huge market. And that's the main reason why they want a cut. If there's any kind of purchase, any transactions, they want something out of it, especially if the app is free. I thought oh. the Apple market was like way less. No, Apple market's way less. Like it's um, Android phones are actually, I think either was last year or the year prior. That's when they overtook. Um, Apple's okay. I won't say that Apple's been having some trouble, but Apple has not been selling as much as they. Yeah, let's look this up. We don't have. Yeah. We don't I want to be inaccurate here. I don't know about the phones, but I definitely know for the tablets. Yeah, but I oh, want to be yeah, accurate tablet, here. You know, oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, tablet. And that's okay, what. And that's what I was excited for, just to see that on a tablet, because I could take my tablet on the go and then just connect to Wi-Fi, and boom, there you go. That's a beautiful, nice screen in front of me, and I have my controller in my pocket or whatever, if I was going to use my AP to. This is what I found just for smartphones. Um, 86% Android, 13% iOS. This is smartphones, though. Um, yeah, this is from 2019. Awesome. Yeah, 2019. Wait, did you say eighty six percent Android? Yes, that's what it says here. Worldwide, worldwide smartphone ship shipment OS market share forecast. Um, yeah, so eighty six percent, and the year before that was eighty five percent. God damn! I thought it was the other way around. All yeah, right, well, now you know, man. That's yeah, a, yeah I, don't, I don't want somebody yelling at us about that calls. shit. What you got, what you got? When you said you were gonna have your, your you're gonna pull out your your controller from your pocket, I'm like, what well, are you worried? Jet or what the was going oh, on? Yeah, no, <laughs> that's I always got them. Yo, he's got them, you know, you them stovepipe jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got my tango jeans. No, I always wear cargo pants and stuff. But it, it, as you know, with the, I think I have one right over here. Hold on. Oh, see, what is this? Yeah. My AP two. See. Oh shit. 
Oh, the nice. bump sticks, it's got the, the bumpers and the triggers. I'm good to go. And this one. Wait. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo, Adam. Yo, Adam. Check this out. Son. I hit this one, right? Oh, <laughs> you already know, son. You already know. There we yeah. go. We can tag you. Bing, bing. Yeah, bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing. Yeah, by the way, for, for you guys listening, we are are showing off our 8 bit. <laughs> hey, time to plug our 8 bit. SN30 SN30 awesome. so SN Pro Bluetooth. Yep, they, damn right. This controller brought new life to my Nintendo Switch. Oh, I, I I gave up playing on the Joy Cons and I did not. Like I was like, you know what? I'm done with it. And then this shit came to my life. Thank you. <laughs> it's beautiful. This, shit, this is fucking awesome. So yeah. good. So good. Did All you right. buy the Pro yeah. controller? And it rumbles. And it rumbles. Kind of. Did you have the Pro controller for the Switch, Adam? I had uh, the the Power A one. I had a knockoff one. Oh, Power A was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Any any other thoughts on um Project X? Oh, by the way, I, I've been playing on Project X Live for about a month now. It's pretty fucking good. Pretty good, you know. And I'm playing that some bullshit Samsung Galaxy Seven, you know, and it runs like butter, you know. Um, so it's it's dope. Um, if you're on the road or whatever, go ahead. For me, on the thing, I, yeah, I agree with everybody on this. Where it's just like it's 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 a pretty big deal, but yeah, it's it's the, it's. Probably it's definitely them saying like you know drawing the line in the sand on on the apple and like hey yo man you make money you want to make some money too yeah <laughs> pretty much okay What's so up? I've been like just reading through Apple Arcade and trying to find something and I and I can't seem to find anywhere that it mentions it does game streaming it seems to be everything is just like oh you download the game yeah you know you just download it there's sub search you pay five dollars a month. Yeah, so it's not really com- it's like it's not really competing with XCloud, and it's just also- another game service. That's the yes, whole thing. That's true. Yeah. Um, also, I'm reading through um, Apple's um, Apple guidelines, and because some people are saying, "Oh, yeah, they don't allow it because of Apple's guidelines," states that you can't have a service like game, like Xbox Game Pass, or sorry, X- XCloud. God damn, damn names. Um, yeah, you can't have service like like that because in the it says that Apple apps are not allowed to connect to servers which you don't own or services that you don't own to have input because in a way um, xCloud acts as a um, remote desktop client so you interact with Microsoft servers which host the game and then voila and I was looking through that and it's like okay that makes sense because that's technically how it is and then, and then it got me thinking. Okay, what about the um, GeForce Now? Because GeForce yeah, Now works. GeForce Now is dope. Yeah. Yep, it and works. Then, and is the GeForce Now on iOS? Because I couldn't find it. Ooh. You can use the oh, browser. I used the browser. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Use the browser. But but, but browser, Brian is asking, is, is it on the iOS? Actual, it's the app. The actual yeah. app. Let me the take GeForce a look. App. Let me take a look. I'll do it right now. I'll press some buttons. Hold on. I'm pressing buttons. G, yeah, GeForce Now gets my thumbs up too. That shit is dope. Because yeah. it because it because it would seem like they are consistent somewhat because I found the Steam Link app but the Steam Link works very differently to how XCloud app because technically with the Steam Link or I guess with um, the PlayStation um, thing with Jake it it will connect to your machine so the role play connects to your PS4 it it doesn't just connect like a random one it's your PS4 and plays your PS4 games yeah same thing with Steam Link it connects to your PC hence you are remote desktoping to your PC so it will seem like that's that's the current point as to why they won't again that could be their just extreme justification as to like hey here's our official reason as to why we can't but to me it seems like it's relatively consistent it's, no. it's, it's, um, real quick, Brian. From what I see here, just to, because the first no. link, the first link I see literally asks, "Is GeForce now going to come to iOS?" So I think that answers yeah, that. No, no. <laughs> they have the Nvidia Shield app and stuff, but you can do it through the browser, and yeah. now it's a, a workaround. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so it, it would seem like Apple are just consistent in the enforcement. Do I agree with enforcement? No, but then that's that's kind of the issue here. Like. If companies are allowed to have closed platforms, they can do whatever bullshit they want. Yeah. And they do. Well, there you and go. yes, that's a dig of consoles. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. You do what you got to do with your but own you know platform, what? you know? History has proven that they can change. We saw with Bill Gates. When the first iPhone launched, people don't know this. They were only going to have iOS apps on it. It was never supposed that's to right. be open to yeah. third party or anything. And they eventually did it. So things can change. You, know, you just got to be local. There's a lot of money involved. Local. 
exactly. If everybody likes to go and gripe and bitch about this game and that game and then fucking look at the water effects, then start bitching hmm. about this shit. If you have an iOS device and you want this, let them be known. You know there's going to be a bunch of fu- fucking petitions out there. People are going to get vocal, join the, the, the team. That's it, and fight, and then eventually they will give in. They'll be like, you know, fuck it, why not? doesn't hurt them, and they'll probably sell more units. That's all they care about. If it's going to sell more, and I think it would. Definitely think it would, especially when it comes to the iPads. And stuff. I think it definitely would. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Uh, now, the actual last question of the night from Mr. Eurocar again. All right. Are you guys going to do an end of the generation episode? If so, around what time should we be expecting it? All right. So I guess we're going to have some uh, announcements to make. So, yes, well, we will be doing an end of the generation episode, and you can expect that at the end of December after we do the final episode of the year, the official one, which is always our year end special. So on that episode, mm-hmm. we're going to be, by the way, final episode of the year, not of Throwdown ever, because people seem to always think that for some reason, you know? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be doing that. And we're going to basically be looking back at the entire generation, but we will make the caveat that yes, we realize that even though we're going to be doing this in December, there will still be console, you know, current gen console games coming out. We understand that, but we got to draw the line somewhere, you know, uh, cause otherwise we wait another three years until the consoles get, um, you know, um, they stop making them or whatever, you know, there's a word for them. I'm, I'm totally blanking out right now. Um, but yeah, so expect that basically the time we would have off throw down because we always take two weeks off. We're just going to take one week off this year. One week we're going to actually, but the good thing about the show is we could record it whenever, you know, and just have it as a canned episode, you know, Oh, we can just do the clips. We can, we always have something that we can talk about. We'll you gotta have some. We yeah, but this. we'll probably do it live because that's our forte. You know, that's what we do on throw down, you know? Um, so yeah, expect that. Actually, matter of fact, let me, um, pull up, uh, because that thing about Throwdown, you know, um, the guy who runs around, I don't know who that is. He organizes his shit too meticulously, man. <laughs> uh, expect that on the 24th. Oh, no, we got the 24th. That's 24th. Christmas. 23rd. How's that for you guys? That sound good? December 23rd? Or we could, again, we yeah. could we could do it starting from the 20, 20. We could, yeah, we could well, even do it on the 21st again, you know. Yeah, let's do it the 25th. No, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, or we could even do it on the 27th when Throw Down Your Questions would normally air, you know? We'll figure it out. So, basically, people, the week of, uh, between the 20th and 27th, expect this episode, you know? Actually, no, don't expect it on the 20th. That's when um, Throw Down Your Questions, the AMA special is going to air, you know? So, mm-hmm. between the 21st and the 27th is when we're going to do this. So, stay tuned, you know? And, um, all right, just going to do it first. So, before that, uh, some pimpings. Manny, oh, real quick. Oh, what's up? Uh, I, I can't believe I forgot. Happy belated birthday to Adam. That's right. A yep. real birthday, you know? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, hey, you it? forgot. August, August 4th. That's yeah. right. I'm, I'm 43 mm-hmm. people. I'm oh, old. shit. You know? My By the way, you know, fun breakdown that we I realized all about throwing out. Okay. So we have two guys that are 43, right? We have two guys that are 40. We have one guy mm-hmm. that's 36, another that's 32, and another one that's 30. So we cover a broad range here. Pretty cool stuff. Um, all right. So, yeah, again, Pimp Rings. Manny, do you have anything to plug, sir? Yes. Next week on the 14th is the release of Excellence 9. Uh, Excellence 9. Oh, is it Excellence I mean, I think no, it's, it's next. 9. Is it? Should be. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it should be on uh, this Wednesday. This Wednesday on the 12th is Excellence 9. You're going to have some cool stuff. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's, that's that's the issue that literally was the issue during all this insanity. Yeah, I finished mm-hmm. the beginning of this issue at the end of March. Then the world destroyed itself. Then a whole bunch of shit happened to me. So it's a lot. And it's probably our best looking issue we've done. Nice. So uh, uh, hopefully uh, you guys go out and pick up that. And uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway or so. Or see, you know, give you guys a couple of issues of excellence. All right. Good stuff. Adam, you have some stuff, don't you? I always have something. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So we have uh, some content that's going up over on the coalition regarding uh, uh, the Superman, the, the Superman, the the Tony Hawk documentary that's coming out the next week. So we got some reviews and some interviews with the director on that one, uh, the, uh, pretending to be Superman. I think that's what it, if I remember what it's called. And also we got another pay per view coming up for NXT Takeover. So, WrestleCast, baby. So, yeah, WrestleCast. You can Friday night WrestleCast. You can find it on Spotify, iTunes, all the other places. So go ahead, sub it. If you don't like it, unsub it. That's cool with me too. And then uh, that's it. 
That's what we got going. Yeah. Um. One more thing. Um. Because we told you guys that Adam's going to do a breakdown of the arcade one-up thing. A little bit of a change here. That we said that uh, that thing's going to go up on third hour. We're actually we recorded already. It's already done. We're going to post it up on the coalition this week. So check that out. Nice like you know big segment on everything arcade one-up has coming up during the fall. You know it was me, Manny, and Adam that recorded that. Um, doing it for the coalition. You know spreading the love, man. I have no problem. You know doing content for those guys, especially everything they've done, been doing for us. You know so uh, look out for that sometime this week. That that should be a lot of fun. And as always, as I said, we are on the road to 300. That's 300 episodes for Throwdown and Throwdown Your Questions going up on September 3rd and September 6th, respectively. We're going to have contests for you guys, specifically Throwdown Your for regular Throwdown 300. I have a I have one that's going to stump you guys. It's going to be hard, you know. And if you win that one, you get a free game. A game you're choosing, as long as it's not a crazy um, collector's edition, you know. Uh, as far as special guests, we're going to have Paris Lilly from Gamer Tag Radio. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing him, or we will be, you know, how we do on Throwdown. It's going to be a lot of fun having him on, you know. And for you guys who may not already know, we are on Audio Boom, which means we are on pretty much every podcast platform on Earth. So whatever your preferred platform is, type in Throwdown Show and subscribe to us, man. You know, also, we have new episodes or a new show period th- called Throwdown, Link- th- Throwdown Clips. We're basically going to be giving you clips of uh you know episodes i'm pretty sure we're gonna do the the big fight we got into as a clip you know uh so the, in on this episode so that should be a lot of fun you know and i think we're done here man getting close to 300 is crazy you know uh, also right. shout, shout out to everybody that's following us on all these different platforms man really appreciate it Thanks very good stuff you know yep yep all right, so yeah, um, make sure you follow us on Twitch and Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube and join our Discord. Follow us on any podcast app by searching for Throwdown Show and visit throwdownshow.com to listen to past episodes. And as always, links are located in the description below. Once again, our show is Tony Polanco, and tonight I was joined by Emilio Lopez. I'll see you later, guys. Chris Seeley. Hey, take care, everyone. Carlos Romero. Peace out. Brett Murdoch. It's been real. Adam Vale. Have a good week. And Brian Monjoma. Keep it clean, people. <laughs> you know. All right, man. We'll see you on Thursday. Peace out. Deuces. I showered this month. Deuces.